I'm gonna do it, Jenna. I'm gonna hit record, Jenna. No, Forrest. I got B platform, Jenna. I'm just trying to answer the JQ, Jenna, and they're taking down my videos. Oh no, Gab's getting taken off of Patreon, Jenna. They're coming after the alt tech media, Jenna. Come on, everyone, sit down on this end so that you can procrastinate along with me. You know I'm supposed to be working, but instead I'm watching BCP. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I'm the best guy ever. Today, we're joined by Tom Oliver. Uh, I'm too hardcore for social media. Find me on gab.com and minds.com and bitshoot and uh, follow my hot political takes there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Damn. Pioneer. Uh, we've got Munchie with his you hats. Know, sometimes we like to fake hype on the show to seem more entertaining than we actually are, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a hopped up on sugar right now, and I just want to wiggle. I'm not like hyped <laughs> up, like, oh my god, guys, like, get inspired. I just want to like wiggle and like run. You ever get it? I just want, you ever just get hopped up on sugar, you just want to run? Are you, f yes, I do know that. Are you, f I did my run at 2 a.m. last night. Do you have any familiarity with this gif, this meme in the Kingdom Hearts community of Kyrie wiggling from the manga? Is this, do you know no, about this? No, no, I, I have no idea. I just like to wiggle gonna, my own accord. I don't follow trends like you do. Well, that's too bad. I'm going to post this in the chat so everyone can observe Kyrie's wiggling. Please enjoy. Uh, we'll put it in the show notes. Uh, uh, <laughs> How did you get that so fast? <laughs> <laughs> he has it was a, on it's my it's desktop it's just, ready to go, yeah. as always. Yeah. Uh, Look at her go. God damn, she's killing wait, it. Hold she's, on. she's getting it, boys. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what you post it in the main chat? You yeah. posted it in... No, you didn't. You posted oh, it in... Oh, I put it in, in the, the robot chat. Speak with your Nazi words techno. using the audio form. What are you Okay, I'm actually going to put in the gross, disgusting link thing, so we can link it later. Anyway, hey, Ben. What's up? Oh, uh... uh Look at this Kyrie. What do you think? Um, uh, she's, wi she's not wiggling. She's wibbling. Hello, everyone. Is that, is that even Hello, related? Podcast. Here Let's we go. The urban, Split the the urban dictionary term for uh, a wibble. <laughs> for wibble. We got to look up yeah. wibble. Have you guys heard? Have you guys heard of the calls? The calls going out there for a return to form, the a call return to adventure, to our great roots on UrbanDictionary.com. Uh, no, I have not heard anyone. Oh, say that. you mean have yeah, I have I heard, have heard, heard absolutely no one say that? You mean have I heard the song <laughs> of the people? You mean have that, you mean yes. you mean have I heard yeah. you mean have I heard the zeitgeist, Nate? That's right. That's right. No. Uh, by the way, <laughs> um, uh, uh, just so you know, I looked up Wibble which is what Kyrie's doing in this thing, on UrbanDictionary.com. Oh, God. And apparently... It's going to take us right, back to wibble. the past. The, oh. the, the top definition is, quote, the word used by Rowan Atkinson in Black Adder Goes Forth to denote a state of insanity. The scene, he puts pencils up his nose and repeats wibble wibble in order to get sent home from the trenches. Wait. Um, and then... That's what wibble and means, then, I guess. And then... Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff was also oh, invented by I, Black I Adder. I I I, I love wow. the first track on Alternia Bound entitled "Arisen Anew." <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys ever watch That's us? Hey, you guys ever watch Black Adder? Uh, you know, I want to watch it again, but not for a long time. Not for a long I time. Liked I liked it no as a what kid. Is. It is a it is a British comedy about like. Elizabethan nobles, where yeah, Mr. Still. Bean plays this like incompetent nobleman named Blackadder, and it's about fucking uh, House like... is on there too, right? Hugh Laurie, Hugh Laurie, I think he's on there. Uh, if I'm wrong, could or... could be. I forgot about that. Uh, you know who? You know my friend uh, John, uh, aka mm -hmm. Dwoob. Uh, mm -hmm. He he mentioned he referenced. Wait a minute, Ben. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. John is Dwoob. You didn't know John is Dwoob. I had no fucking idea. Well, all right. Who did you I think Doob was? I just thought I was some fucking just... asshole playing Roddy Fucker's cop kills like the rest of the assholes. No, John is Doob is John. Um, oh shit. Yeah. Um. But uh, I'm I'm so surprised you didn't know. Um. But uh, mm. the the um he referenced a show that I had not remember, remember Red Green. Yeah, of course. He was Canadian. Yeah, fixer the Canadian fixer upper skit comedy. He was he was talking about like a we you know we're talking about like uh, all our mouse traps because we got mouse traps in my house. We have okay. we have been slaughtering mice left and right. It has been a, it has been a mouse <laughs> genesis. No, listen. I, I mean, believe you. No, do you know that I killed them with a frying pan? Did I talk I, about I this? I saw that. That's I saw that. oh my god. That's what that story was about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, all right. 
Um, now I know. Yeah, I killed a mouse with a, with a clobbered it with a frying pan. Holy um, shit! Yeah, it was great. Uh, was it like running? Was it running for its life, attempting to survive? And no. Just... Okay, so I bought a bunch of mouse traps, like classical looking ass snap mouse mm. traps. Um, yeah. None of them have caught anything. They mm. are. Almost useless, except... Except for physical uh, gag comedy bits, which I'm yeah. sure they're ripe for usage in that. Well, they... Mm -hmm. All right. So I heard one go off, and I was like, oh, my God, one of them actually caught something. So I went and I mm. looked, and no. Um, but there was a mouse next to the one that had gone off, and it seemed to be, like, maybe stunned or something. Because yeah. it, like, wasn't reacting to me at all. So I was like, it's now or never before it fucking gets its wits back. So I went and I grabbed a <laughs> frying pan and I just smashed it. Oh, Whoa. God. Uh, in, it in was one metal. clean clobber? In one clean clobber. Uh, nice. You know, I thought maybe I hadn't hit it hard enough. Like, I was afraid. Uh -huh. I was afraid that, you know, as, as Dwarf Fortress might put it, that it would, like, explode in a pile of gore. Um, okay. But it didn't. Yeah, yeah. In fact, there was no visible injury at all, and I thought maybe I'd been too much of a fucking pussy and it hadn't mm -hmm. died. Um, didn't follow through. But it, mm -hmm. it kind of fell over and started scrabbling around. And oh. I was like, oh shit, I didn't get it. But like, oh, I went back, I went back at it, and no, it was, it did. It eventually slowed down and stopped. I was like, oh, I guess I, oh, I guess God, I got that's it. morbid. No, I was glad. Cause like, how much yeah. XP did you get from that? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, few because I'm extremely high level. I'm extremely yeah. powerful, Munchie. Um, so, oh. so you're it, like Rapunzel with that frying. So pan. I swept Just... it up in a dustpan and dumped it in the trash. Um, sure. And oh, uh, this could be the start Makes of a sense. new career for you. You could become an exterminator, but you don't use traditional methods. You just go in there with your bare hands <laughs> with a frying pan. Apart. With all I need is my frying pan. You, yeah. you throw in flashbangs uh, to stun them, and then you go in there and you take care of them man to man, At one on one, like they did. Oh in the my old God! School. Ben's gonna grow up to be the exterminator from Ant Bully. He's just gonna walk up and bully little <laughs> yeah. kids into signing contracts that they're way out of the jurisdiction to sign. <laughs> then, then, then when they ask how long it's gonna be, you're just gonna light a cigar and take out your trusty f drying pan, and you're gonna start beating the shit out of my. Say, oh, it'll be done within the hour. And, uh, after, and, and bully bonus episode. Go after check I it had, out. After I had thrown it away, it occurred to me that maybe I'd missed an opportunity. And I had thought, what if I had, like, somehow, like, cured its hide? It? No, what if I had somehow, <laughs> somehow like, like, used some kind of chemical powder or something to, like, remove its flesh, to, like, desiccate its flesh okay. and, like, collect its skull, like, clean its right. skull and display it? Like, what if we started oh, displaying all yeah. the skulls? All Imagine the having, like, a, a, a pile of mouse skulls right next to your, to I'm your thinking, chair. I'm thinking we prop them up on toothpicks just kind of around the house, you know? Yeah, to you gotta, them You up. gotta display them to, to instill fear into the populace remaining That's in right. the house. That's right, as totems, you as know, totems I to act, denote your skill. You know, I actually looked it up and like uh i mean i thought like i i was i thought like how would you do that like would you would you like boil it first like boil the flesh off or something mm -hmm. and i was looking at some site and it was like do it was it had it had a graph there was a graph of like what condition is the carcass in and oh, what and, wow. and like cross reference with what method of uh of flesh removal and cleaning of the skull would you employ Gosh. and all <laughs> All conditions said, "Do not boil. Do not <laughs> boil the flesh off of it." All right. It, it, yeah. All right. Um, Hold on. I, I I just did some some quick research myself by googling, you know, you know how to, uh, you know, clean clean us clean a skull, skull. and I discovered the delightful term skeletonization. Which I'm <laughs> going to do to you right after this podcast. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, they're not rats. They're mice. They're very. They're pretty small. Um, yeah, and actually, okay. I haven't seen them. You know, uh, I was uh, I spooked him off. Like, like I, I, I'd been seeing them around. I got these trap, and I was like, man, you know, if I'm seeing a couple of mice, that must mean there's like thousands. That must mean they're everywhere and they're just hiding themselves really well. Yeah, and yeah, I'm only seeing, so. but uh, we've only killed maybe like five or six. But like, I haven't seen them in days. Like, maybe that, maybe we got the most. Maybe we fucking got them. The downstairs I don't know how mice neighbors work. Have it. They're not like bugs or anything. The I mean. downstairs neighbors have it much worse. They, I mean, I haven't Oof. seen it, but apparently they're all over the place in the downstairs. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna have stick you, to the ground. And, and there's and, and like and, and and there's some like and there's some shit. There's some shit going on where like the guy downstairs has like said like I'm not paying rent until you until the landlord takes care of it, and the landlord okay. tried to evict them for it, but like obviously mm. that's not gonna work. So there's a whole like legal thing going on downstairs. God. But since the mouse problem is not that bad up here, we've just kind of ignored it pests are the number one biggest like i can't believe in literal 2018 current year we're still dealing with like pests yeah it, like when i moved out to ohio 
Uh, I, well, the first place I lived it didn't seems have this cartoonish. Problem. Having mo- having a mouse problem in your house seems like a problem that like a cartoon ca- like like Mr. Bean like, would have I, a mouse that he would be running yeah. around I f- with a hammer I f- trying to trying to kill or something. Oh, the and he and he would, like... and he would and he would and he would keep running into frying pans like in yeah, the kitchen. So. Indeed, and As like the mouse would jump on his face and he would whack himself with a frying pan trying to get it. Yep. As yeah. an evolved, like, uh, pure energy, you know, internet denizen, I feel like I shouldn't have to deal with this. But in my last, like, uh, two apartments, roaches have been, Ugh. like, a more president issue, which never happened in Massachusetts, but I don't know yeah, if roaches are more of a, ra- a Midwest there. thing. Uh, Exterminator but, came by ex- and said that he caught yeah. a he caught a crab in a glue trap one time. A crab in a glue whoa. trap. He showed me a picture. He was like, whoa. "Dude, check this out!" And he showed me a picture of his <laughs> the, the glue traps are these like sort of uh, like like paper squares that you just put out, and the idea is that mice yeah. will just step in them, and then they can't escape, and they starve to death or whatever. Right. Um, They're pretty and, brutal. And pretty brutal. This and whole thing's brutal. but it's fucking genocide. So whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then he yeah. showed me a picture and like, yeah, like a large crab, like several inches across. And he said that he said yeah. that it was like in a business, like near, like, like a uh, back bay, like near the ocean kind mm-hmm. of. So it wasn't like totally ridiculous that a crab might've made it that far, but still he caught a fucking big old crab in his glue trap. Speaking well, of glue traps, we put a glue trap out at my house and we did because mm-hmm. there was a mouse running around in the house. We had to get it. You mean, uh, and- uh the house you're at now or? Uh, no, my, my, my parents' house when I was still there. Yeah. And, uh, we were all panicked because we knew that when my mom came home, if she, if a mouse was still there, she would flip shit and we wouldn't hear the end of it for days. So it's like, all right, this mouse has to be gone within the hour or we're all fucked for the next like two weeks. Mm -hmm. So we put out a glue trap and put some peanut butter on it because you had to to get the sucker out there and go for the peanut butter and get fucked. And he did like instantly. (sighs) And it was just there like struggling for like. 20 minutes and i felt really bad about it so i did like i did the opposite like ben just did the genocide run in undertale and i did i did the pacifist run because i just like took it and i brought it outside and i kind of like took a little like like butter knife and kind of scooped its leg out just was like get out of here you fucking piece of shit you're out of the house hadn't you already hadn't you already caught it in the trap or i caught it in the trap I I caught, it, I caught it in the glue trap, but only uh, one of its legs was caught in the glue trap. Okay. So it was like tr- scurrying around with one leg caught, slowly yeah. dragging this whole thing behind it. And I was like, I'm not going to let you die like this. So I brought it out and I kind of <laughs> like freed its leg and was like, you're fine. Just get out of here. Uh, I, yeah, I definitely skew towards the Tom end of the spectrum. If you're a deep core munchie fan, then you will know my, you know, time tested catchphrase silverfish are allies. Uh, yes. And, and, of and, and this stems. Uh, you mean, from my childhood obsession with silverfish in my in my mean, childhood home that I grew up uh, uh, in, there was a, a rampant silverfish like infestation. By and the way, would, silverfish like, would... are AKA house centipedes, right? Like the ones with lots and lots of legs yeah. that look like frilly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that look like uh, like skyfish. They they have like six legs. You know, here I'll get, I'll get you a picture of what a silverfish. This is an extremely like you know things. high okay, definition I'm, I'm photo. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of something that I grew up or not grew that i used to call a silverfish but which turns out is actually called a house centipede yeah that we had tons of those in the house i and those they were I, we I, saw, I saw one yesterday and i was very upset by it because i hate them but uh everyone yeah. else no, like no, no dude they cute. no I dude they cute. eat they eat worst bugs and i'm like no they are the worst bug of all <laughs> <laughs> well what, what i would that's do why is they eat the, the other so ones many in like our bathroom and we had have to get like like a pest c- control guy to like like basically constantly just come back and, and destroy them i eventually just got accustomed to them and and i and i, and I would like leave a little like like a bit of like some video game uh like cover paper there like some manual paper i would just rip up some like new super mario bros 64 uh ds oh, like I love that manuals game. and just leave in the bathtub for my for my allies to eat and they would eventually become to recognize me as their master, and they I would Jesus just be Christ. able to like you know hang out with them. Munchie like, becoming a real life one. Pokemon trainer. No, I know exactly. Bug no, catcher there, Munchie there, wants to battle. There can be there can be no cooperation with the bugs. There can no, be only allies. there can be they're there can be o- there can be they only cause war. No harm. There can be only war between us. But I like carrots and peppers and bugs. L- listen, listen. Fucking, Shout out if you, you know, get the reference. If, if you're some Fellow fucking Sonic fan, and, you know you pissed yourself. you have seen Sonic the Hedgehog get in a brawl, or you're some fucking <laughs> Final Fantasy head, and you were so happy when Cloud got in. Think about how happy I was when Silverfish got into Minecraft. The most wholesome, you know, <laughs> epic gaming mashup of all time. And they were representing my brand, my favorite series, Silverfish, the bug from real life. 
I was so ecstatic. Ugh. It was uh, a great Nate, time. Well, that's nice. We, me, Nate, remember earwigs? Remember earwigs? I, 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 I do. I, I, we had, I want, we had, we had want, earwigs by our, by the pool when we were kids. They were terrible. They would get I, in I your want shoes. Fan art they would, they would get in your fish, shoes. By the way. You had to you had to shake out you had to shake your shoes to make sure no earwigs had gotten in. Uh, I, I didn't mind that. them that much. I think they're much less have disgusting you guys ever had than, than for than for Not example fleas. a house Lice. centipede. As a, as a no. little kid, as a little kid, I did have. I think we both got lice, Nate. I remember. Okay, maybe I, I did. remember having to shampoo with some like special shampoo because I had lice. Oh, I hate all of this. This but, is the worst. But you know, no, as a kid, as a little not. kid, as a little kid, it didn't gross me out, and I like I barely even thought about it. I was like, oh, okay, mom says I got lice. Well, I guess I'll just fucking shampoo with this shampoo yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Back didn't, then, I didn't mind didn't, as much. Didn't freak me out or anything. It is pretty fucking gross in hindsight, though. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, dog. dude. I I, I I only had lice once in my life, which I suppose makes sense due to the fact that I'm eighty percent hair. Uh, mm. and, and I, I got it when I was in like like fourth grade or something. And I was the talk of the town. I was so fucking <laughs> Everyone's popular. Like, Everyone wanted to <laughs> high five you. Yeah, they're like, oh shit, you got lice, dude. And I was like, I know. Nice, like it wasn't nice, easy, dude. but believe nice. me, I I triumph over everything that I touch. <laughs> cool. It was fucking so cool. sick. It was it was like getting a cast and everyone being like, oh man, can I sign your cast? But everyone wanted to stay away from me, but also like 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 whistle at me from far away, like a cat call or like a um, lice call, if you will. How- how bizarre. How bizarre. No, I mean, can you imagine having your friend have lice and being like, oh man, like I can pick out his hair and like get a creature? No. What? <laughs> that yeah. sounds. Well, maybe it sounds like, like the worst thing ever, actually. Yeah. No, as as like, like a five year old, or I mean, you know, however. I get that old. if you're a kid and you're too retarded to know that yeah. that's awful, then maybe no, it wouldn't it sound great. awful. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. That makes sense. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> Mm. They were delicious. Hey, I've got a hard left turn of a topic here. I want to be talking about bugs and pests. Let's. Uh, that's good. I just feel like we've said literally everything there is to say. But mm-hmm. here's here's what I got. So yesterday, I finished my Nuzlocke. It is yeah. complete and yeah. it's over. I uh, I cameo. Yep. I cameo. That, that's true. There was a cameo from the Saint, aka yes, Ben. Yes. Uh, I conquered. Well, you know what? I won't say what I did. You can just go watch it for yourself, people. But, it was but really here's what cool I wanted to say about good. it. Uh, well, it you, very... you thought it was good? You enjoyed I, it? I, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Well, that's I, good. I, yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. The people the people went hog wild, and they, they loved did. it. So, they did. Uh, Twitch.tv slash definitely best guy ever. Go check it out. Oh, there's, a, there's a YouTube upload thing for it as well. But here's what I wanted to say. What the, the experience of yesterday was very interesting, and I think it was not totally new, but reminded me of something I haven't felt in a long time, and it was that um, when I was younger, I used to do plays and shit, do musicals, and I haven't done it for quite a while. But yesterday, doing this Twitch thing, like the, the uh, there was like there was around like 200 people there, and I actually used to get bigger numbers of viewers when I would stream on YouTube than I do on Twitch. But, yeah. but what was interesting, what the difference was, this was a far more hype event going on yesterday. And, like, everybody was just more into it and freaking out and engaged. Mm-hmm. And, and as we were doing it, as, as the whole event was happening, there was just a lot of energy. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And, and there was a real sense of, I don't know community i guess going on and just just it just just hype and life i could feel life pulsing pulsing through my veins and then it finished it ended and then the like turning off the stream and just sitting back and sitting there quietly it's it's just like when i when i'm watching a stream where something cool is happening and then it ends there's a great emptiness like beating a video game especially with this something i've been doing for like 7 months and then yeah. i beat it and now it's like the now journey what? is over. I imagine and like it's... shuffling out of the stadium after a good game or something. Yeah, or like imagine like I don't know, you're fucking I don't know Bon Jovi or whoever, and like you you go play on stage and you have like thousands, tens of thousands, hundred thousand, whatever people like cheering. You know, obviously smaller numbers here, but with the same idea. And then you're like, yeah, you're a god on the stage, right? Everything's great, and then it ends, and then you go off stage, and there's a guy's like, oh, you want a coffee? And you want me to get you a coffee? You want me to like? I'll get you one. Yeah, you're like, yeah, sure. Okay. And then he goes, and you're just sitting there. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I did, a, I did a good job. I did it. But it's just mm-hmm. quiet now. It's just mm-hmm. quiet now. And sure, it's a time to reflect, but, but that high, that high is gone. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, so this is why they do cocaine. This is why <laughs> they do yeah. cocaine, to get it back. And I'm like, I totally get it. I totally get it. 
Why? What, what would you, I mean? Was it a bad experience? Did you? Well, it's, was it, sounds, a, it's, a it sounds melancholy, right? It sounds melancholy. Yeah, it's, it was definitely a melancholy feeling, which I which I've definitely felt to lesser extents. Like I was saying, like would you like say that I, you felt would you, this, plays would you say that you felt this way before? So insecure. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's I, I would say so. Owned, um, owned. You, like when I was young, you know, doing plays and stuff, because like you'll go and you'll practice for months and months, like every couple of days or whatever. And then as like uh, you know, you're getting close, you're doing um, dress rehearsals and shit, and you're like there every day working on stuff. And then you do your last show, and then it's over. And everybody mm. goes home, and that's yeah, yeah. You can look forward to your next thing. There's all that, but the sense of melancholy was palpable, and. I don't know. I just felt I gained a greater understanding for like performers and, and show people. And I'm like, yeah, everybody says they're really retarded for like doing drugs to chase a high. But I think a lot of that's because we can't understand their perspective. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like I get it more now. That's, that's all. That's incredibly so, so you're, interesting. Nate. So you're a drug right? addict now, is what you're telling us. Yeah. <laughs> I I would never do any drugs. Uh, I'm too stay, strong. Stay tuned. But... Stay tuned for the be- best guy ever rehab <laughs> arc uh, in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> I, Looking forward to that. I I think that's something that's probably unique to live streams, or I guess you know live performances. Because I, I would agree. say, yeah, I can't really imagine feeling the same way when like a you know a big video gets released, you know, which I which I like, have done. Yeah, like, yeah, my my fucking big Smash videos got like hundreds of thousands of views, but it's a totally it's, different. Yeah, sensation. it's not like an immediate. It's not like you were just performing and then the event right. is over. It's been you've mm-hmm. been toiling over this for you know God knows how long, you know weeks at this point, and yep. you're divorced. Yep from the feeling of actually, you know, the Nate that was recording, or, you know, not mm-hmm. in the Mess Smash videos, but, yeah, you know, in, yeah. in, I don't know, Gurren Lagann Part 2. You're so mm-hmm. far removed from the Nate who was doing that voiceover and, you know, who was acting in those bits. It doesn't even feel That's like the right. same person. It's not like you were acting, really. It was just you were, you know, you've been finalizing the act for, you know, months or years, yep. Yep. I guess, in that case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those took six months to make or so, okay. I think. That's really interesting. I, I've, I think I... Mm-hmm. Have only because I'm not like a stream person, you know. That's not my my trade. But mm-hmm. there's been very few times where I've sort of gotten the same scenario where it's been a really successful stream. There were a lot of people, and it was really a really hype moment. The yeah. only thing that I could think about after that was just man, like like I've done my work. I like I can now re- I can die with a smile. <laughs> like I've I've completed everything that I need to complete, and now it's just time for me to rest and you know. Uh, uh, not engage with anyone for like a two weeks. That's how it was I after gotcha. the flag referendum stream on RFCK, which everyone fucking yeah. went bananas for, and it was a great right. stream. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, fuck, I, I still feel haven't. Like... I still haven't seen it. Really? Well, yeah, you should if you get the everyone. Chance. Everyone says that I should, and I keep meaning to, but I haven't. I haven't gotten around to actually watching. I don't know what like I. Having not seen it, it's very mysterious to me, and like I wonder what it could like what could even be about this stream <laughs> that like is so. I don't know. Like it's clearly something. There's clearly something I to it, it, but it I don't. Good. Yeah. Okay. It's hype. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of energy, a lot of voting going on, a lot of number tabulation. Just yeah. Uh, yeah. I, that's, I, that's what I'm saying. That's I think that's about. some old munchy hyperactivity that doesn't really translate a lot nowadays. Because I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I've mellowed down a little bit. Maybe I. Wait, care what do you, what about do you mean nowadays? Things. That was like that was like two weeks ago. I, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying. That you don't okay. really like that. That's a sort of old brand of my humor that you don't really see a whole lot. That was resurfaced oh, okay. in in the oh, okay. modern yeah. day. That's, that's true. It that's feels true. like a sort of like almost even a Deagle Nation esque energy that I have for mm. a thing. Yeah, but you know uh, the, the 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 biggest comparison for this whole thing, like the the performance thing, definitely probably is the most accurate. But the one that's most familiar to me is when you beat a big video game, specifically that <laughs> took a ton of time, like like a, a Final Fantasy. Or, I don't know, JRPGs are probably the best example to take, like, 50 to 100 hours, maybe longer. Mm-hmm. You beat it. And it's you're happy that you won. You're but satisfied you're that, that you did over. it. But you're yeah. sad the journey is over. Yeah. That's that's what it was. That's the, the biggest thing, I think. I, yeah. I, I, I have that. I, I, I unfortunately cannot relate as someone who doesn't <laughs> like or play single-player games. But sure. I, I can relate in that in the sense of, like, finishing, like, series of things. I yeah. had just undertaken a massive, massive podcasting, uh, I don't know, mm-hmm. binge experience listening to Mike Duncan's The History of Rome. And that was uh-huh. like, a, like a long, like 170 plus uh, episode series. And I just mm-hmm. finished it earlier today. And it's mm-hmm. weird having this like series that has taken up like 
almost every waking hour of my life yeah, when I'm not yeah, like editing exactly. something for like weeks just now be gone and like yeah I guess you know I, I guess I, mean? I finished it's like, that it's like it's like where have my friends gone yeah it's like when exactly. you when, when you beat Final Fantasy VII it's like oh. I don't get to hang out with, like, Cloud and Tifa and, like, Yuffie anymore. Oh, don't say it like that. You're going to make me fucking cry. It's 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 literally like they're dead because it's like you can have no more new experiences with Cloud. You can have no new experiences with these characters that you come across. But, Nate, when when the remake comes out, you'll get all new experiences (laughs) for $5.99 for DLC expansion. Like, like... When am I gonna get to see TTLMZ, my, the the canonical team leader of my party, the Gyarados, the the MVP of the of the fucking run, and Gastrodon Prime, the legendary Dune Coon, who kicked everybody's ass and overcame all the odds, and I, uh, you know, when am I gonna get harassed by Russell the Ghost again, and you know, all these. All these kooky. Ca- when am I gonna go flying with Juicy Shack Meet the Noctowl, my useless Pokemon <laughs> whose only use is flying, as my only surviving bird? But you know. That's well, it's Nate, sad. It's well, sad. You that's know, as, all. as Tommy Wiseau might say, that's life. You know, that you, is. You know, you, you gotta. You know, that's it. People, you know, ex- experiences, and people and friends are all you know fleeting in their own way. Like, they all, they all know, end. I hope this doesn't come across unnecessary dick sucking. But you know what? Hearing you describe this, I truly am not sorry. I guess, but you know, I kind of regret not getting on the Nate Nuzlocke bandwagon because I because I knew I knew it was something special for a while now but it's just hard but I don't like hmm. follow the streams and I don't really know when they're happening and I don't really you know I, necessarily I regr- have the time to tune into streams yeah that's fine I, d- but I do re- I do really I, d- nice. I, d- I, d- I feel like I yeah. should have yeah uh same same but I also realized that like I mean I don't the time uh, the, it's a big time investment right it sure is. That's a lot. That's sure what's is. that like? Hundreds of hours of fucking uh, content. Probably, I'd, I'd guess about a hundred hours or so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I get it. And uh, and also, let's not forget that a lot of those streams are lit. As as everybody who was there would say, it's like I don't know, fifty to sixty percent of like looking at charts and updating spreadsheets and yeah. like thinking oh, and, and just grinding and raw grinding, which has become a great meme that a lot of people enjoy. But for the for the, for the true warriors, no need, bruh. You know, everybody else who was in the trench. Russell, of course, like they suffered. <laughs> they suffered uh, the boredom of. I mean, we, you know, we would just bitch and talk about life and stuff, and just answer questions, which is a, a lot of what many of those streams were while we mm-hmm. grinded. But you, I mean, the people now who were there, like they get to feel basically the vicarious accomplishment, and then you know the actual accomplishment because a lot of them actually contributed to strategy and thoughts and like what we did and stuff, mm-hmm. and so. So though, like, it's easy to look back now on what those guys did and be like, "Wow," uh, and, and you know, me too. Like, that was that was so great. I wish I'd been there. But it actually, there was a lot of there was a lot of work, a lot of downtime there. Well, too. you know, isn't that isn't That's that just all. what any isn't that what anything good is yes. like? Like, yes, like, it like, is. like, like anything at the time seems like a, a slog or like dude, dumb, dude, or like, like, work, or like, or like work or just like work. Yeah. But then, like later, you look back and you're like, actually, that was great. At the time, it was yes. work, but because we every remember single the, the past fucking week. I, mm. I would record Arm Retrieval, and I would be like, time to edit it. It would be like yep. the most, this show sucks. No yeah. one is yeah. going to watch it. There's no reason <laughs> for me to do this. It's just taking yeah. time away from other things. Why yep. on earth would yep. I do it? And Arm Retrieval is probably the most defining best thing I've ever done online, unironically. Every Arm Retrieval yeah. fan loves it, like, with an unbelievable passion that I cannot even, like, understand. I mean, look no farther than Arm Retrieval Con 3, when, like, 11 people flew out just to, like, talk to me about Arm Retrieval for, like, three hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's how you know. Mm-hmm. That's real shit. That's real connection. That's I, I real think there's human... something... Like, apart from the actual, like, quality of the streams, that mm-hmm. makes it such a good experience to be a part of your streams i mean nate uh, yeah stream. absolutely I there's, think, there's a community sense yeah and a the, lot the of people sense. only see each other during these streams and they're like friends on the streams yeah. kind of i, I think yeah. there's something so valuable that uh, like i especially am liking my life of having a sense of like being a part of a community and being there on the front lines when something new releases there yes. is no yes. fucking greater joy in my life than I experienced seeing a new episode of My Little Pony and being like, I can't wait to fucking talk about this hot new background pony. Can't, can't yeah, wait fam. to can't wait to hear the newest T bap. Can't wait <laughs> yeah. to hear the latest T bap about this one. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, it's so 
great. Like, I know there's a lot to be said about, like, the actual quality of a show or podcast or whatever being mm-hmm. dampened by, you know, having pacing being broken up due to the fact that it releases over weeks. And it's not mm-hmm. the ideal way to intake art in for art's sake. But there yeah. is n- no doubt a ton of community joy that you reap from being a part of a fandom or a community and releasing it to you know and and watching yeah. it with your fellow community ease this uh, is this you know, is the the reason week. behind like the pod cast has been going strong like in my life cuz i've you know I've been reading it every week for like 15 years or whatever uh it, it's the community that keeps me really engaged in stuff i mean i'd read it no matter what but the com- it, it enhances the experience so much to like have a new chapter come out, it's like a big thing. It's like it's like God drops a gift that like all these people expect, and then we all get to reap the benefits of in all these different ways with like a new episode of a show everybody's watching, or a new chapter of One Piece, or you know, or like the stuff we make. Maybe a new episode of the fucking PCP that mm-hmm. people gather around and have a community around and enjoy. Oh man, you know, I I would pay money. I would br- I would bribe people. <laughs> To mm-hmm. have PCP listening parties. That would be so cool to hear that be would, a thing. That, that would, would be, be so sick. Cool. Huh, like we could even pay someone to listen to this <laughs> trash. <laughs> uh, it's great. Uh, maybe, and, maybe, and, maybe, and by maybe, the way. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we should go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators and donate some money there. What do you think about that? That makes sense. Um, yeah. I would never do something like that. Especially <laughs> no. in the Patreon no, no. lounge. P-U, it stinks in there. No same. By, by the way, th- this is like this is the PCP viewers. Like, like you are aware of the many, 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 many bad things we've had to say about communities and fandoms and ugh, internet <laughs> groups in general. <laughs> Just talking about it's making me kneel over and die. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's a lot of unspoken, uh, you know, uh, uh, joys. That yeah. are in those I mean, if there that we wasn't, may have t- trash talked a lot. I mean, if there wasn't, why would we do any of it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why wouldn't we just, why wouldn't we just, why wouldn't we just kneel down and fucking commit ritual seppuku right here on the fucking pavement? Right I think here. we're like getting close in to the, that Right, right here in case. the Walmart parking lot where I make my home. <laughs> 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 oh, the silverfish mm. fill that cardboard box mm, they were by pillows at night. <laughs> they're, I, 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 they're, I, I, they're allies munchie they're allies. Oh, oh, oh they're so fucking allies they are my friends they they are my pokemon i'm gonna name them all i love them so much is there a silverfish pokemon i think there is is it what's his face is yeah, um, yeah, that Wimpod, bug guy Wimpod. Wimpod, that's Munch, the one. Munchie, yep, over yep, the yep. years, he's collected so much silverfish candies. He can like, he's <laughs> getting ready to evolve them. It's gonna be something oh, nuts. Oh, oh, I can't wait for the, for their community day to come, Tom. I can't <laughs> wait for their community day to come up. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. I, I, I talked about this a, a, a bit uh, in 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 various fan chats, but uh, I mm. think something that is related to what we've been talking about here that I want to do for my like for like my mental health. This is not yeah. a joke. I want to get back on Tumblr because listen everyone (laughs) has an idea of what Tumblr is like in their mind like oh you know it's full of SJWs like Twitter or Tumblr is a community like any other website meaning that you can find those people I'm not saying those people don't exist or they aren't even a majority but just don't follow them I've been thinking about getting back on Tumblr too like I never I, I never made any headway on Tumblr and I gave up really fast uh but like I didn't do anything there, so like it's not that surprising that nothing came of it. But yeah, it's just like mm-hmm. it's just it's another platform where a lot of people are, and like it sure would be nice to Tom, fucking Tom was always be a on big, there. Tom was a big Tumblr guy, wasn't he? I mean, just yeah. like posting I mean, I there. I still and... use it. I still yeah. have a Tumblr. Still, uh, yeah. I I I want to say for the people who've never been on Tumblr. It's so easy to follow like exclusively alt right people. <laughs> it's really, really easy. This is not like a like a homogenous society or a community. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if it's you follow not me, you just follow all SJWs. Right yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so easy to like curate what you want to see and what you well, want to you know uh, engage God. with. I, I guess it's love, the same God, way. I love content aggregators so they, they, much. They are real good. I guess it's the same way that, like, as a 4chan guy, uh, I just shit on Reddit, you know. Even though I could be on, you know, my, my what would be my home base, r slash the Donald, of course. Yeah. And, you know, mm-hmm. just be on there posting my MAGA hat memes and my, uh, you know, you, you know, all, all the things. All the things. Um, 
But instead, I'm just going to say it's lol, Reddit's gay, guys. Dude, lol. I'm going to keep that up as long I, as possible. I, I des- I, well, not desperately. I'm not, this is not, I'm not aching for this in my life. Like, I need it. Like, I need it. Like, I need my heroin shots, my right fellow drug addicts. Ha ha ha. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Um... But Nate. it's well, I, Nate, I, Nate, I want come to re- come to rehab, Nate. It's gonna be good, Nate. Get a heroin problem. Get a get a drug problem. Start chase that high. You gotta chase That'll that be magic a good dragon. Narrative for the PCP, I think that could be a good one. So we can, oh, we can n- definitely next monetize episode. that. Hey guys, welcome to the PCP. <laughs> <laughs> ah, welcome. To a well, actually, new episode. I think you can snort like powdered heroin or whatever. Um, uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna inject a uh, pain. Okay. I mean, you can probably snort. I want to do the eyeball you injection your mind to it. style. Oh, you know, God. right through the pupil, like the worst. right through the pupil, dude. Oh. You know, hey, I, I saw something the other day. Speaking of eyeball injections, oh. uh, quick, quick Ooh. aside on this. Where could I this saw be going? a YouTuber. He had something like a hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand subs. I forget his name, but his his claim to fame was that he's like a tattoo slash body modification guy. Oh, no. And all I'm saying is, his he had a bunch of tattoos, whatever. His right eye. The white of his eye had been tattooed blue, and my first thought was, "Is this a Sans reference? Is this a Sans <laughs> thing?" Going, I I could not figure out if it was Wait, or is not. So he tattooed his fucking the white. His, the white is the cornea, right? Or no, is that a different? No, I forget okay. the name of it. Okay, I mean, I had met a guy in sclera. person who had tattooed sclera. his whites black, it's, but it's uh, sclera. Sclera, yeah, there you go, there you so go. So he had tattooed, like, with a needle? Like, with a fucking, I, like... Yeah, I think they do I'm it with a needle. Die. It's blue. That doesn't, blue. That, li- that doesn't sound possible. Oh, my oh, it's, God. I, I met a man who, uh, he was the, they said he was the most tattooed man in the world at a tattoo convention in, like, uh, somewhere in New York, I think, and uh, he had uh, horns and shit under his skin, on his head, his whole body was covered in blue puzzle pieces, and the whites of his eyes, the sclera, were tattooed black. And I just looked in this man's eyes and was like, that's a demon. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna get into the tattoo community on Tumblr. I'm going to make an OC called Tatless based on Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. I've, I've made this joke two times Damn. before on the PCP, by the way. It's going to be a returning joke. The, the Tatless brand will overcome all obstacles. <laughs> I bet that the Tatless is like the most, he's like, he's like the pure virgin, you know, yeah. around the, oh, the, the sexual Oh, that's why everyone, men, oh, everyone wants, to, wants to adopt yeah. him as their everyone son and also skin. lover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh man, I, I can give him his first tattoo. I can give him his first <laughs> tattoo of cum dump right yeah. across his forehead. That's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got to indoctrinate him into that. our into our dis, into our disgusting lifestyle <laughs> of getting tats and fucking. These are our, these are the sins. These are the sins we gotta we gotta get him in on, or else we'll feel <laughs> or else we'll feel un, we'll feel self conscious about it if he's not doing yeah, it too. That's probably true. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's do a left turn. Who else has got something going <laughs> Let's on? Do, all right. All right. Left turn. Left turn. Left no turn. No more. Um. Uh. Pokemon got, Go. Uh, it's oh, right. no. I, I, caught, I caught a lot of caught a lot of tyrant not caught a, caught a lot of larvitars yesterday. Might hey, go out and get a couple more larvitars. I, Might go out and get a couple more dratinis. I evolved yeah. my fucking tyranitar, and he yeah. didn't have his community day move. He literally did not have his community day move. Well, it wasn't his community day. It was just general community day. No, I know, but you could get the community day move still. Maybe really? it's like a chance thing. Yes, I don't know. Uh, I think I, I think it's that the game sucks. I think that's the yeah the, that uh, that I sounds mean, right. Yeah, You're uh, right. I don't really care about that. Oh, I've got a quick update. I finally evolved my scyther into a scissor. I, I have. I was there. I, Me and Tom were I, there in the call. That's when right. We did that. I it, saw his name is Gurren. He is beautiful. You're the version of the best Pokemon. I was so emotional. <laughs> it's been years. It's been yeah. years. Literally uh, years. Literally years. But I've years. done it. Man, I've got I've got uh, Humphrey the Shell gone. He's got a long way to go before he becomes <laughs> yeah. before he becomes a Salamence. I t- I tells you what. What was his name? Humphrey. 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 He's he, I've raised I've been walking with him since he was a since he was a Bagon. Uh-huh. And uh, you know I was very happy when he became a Shell gun, but it was like oh my god the road the road ahead is so long and treacherous. It's long. I, it's long. Good luck. We we this this can easily become like the the Pokemon Go news segment. Because there's some I mean, yeah. crazy yeah. fucking, there's some crazy news. I don't know if any of you are, are bequeathed of. Probably this, not. The, What's up? PvP What's is coming. Is confirmed. Oh, and yeah. oh my god. 
Well, that, shit, dude. So, well, that's, so the that's two things funny. that everyone uh, was joking and memeing about that were not in the game, trading and PvP, will be have been in the game in like weeks, like like just just weeks away, probably by Christmas time. Man, PvP Damn. might make me want to play the game again because I just I'm. I can't get back into it because I just get so bored so quickly. It, but, sure, Tom, sure. to be fair, you I, live in I the worst possible no, town for it. Absolutely, fucking yeah. it's, it's a ten minute walk to a Pokestop from. Oh, where that's I am. rough. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, rough. that's like that's, that's like that's like my mom. That's like our mom, Nate. Mm-hmm. Uh, I gotta, Nate. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking tweet her her fucking friend code and get people to add her and and our just, mom's so, friend code. All right, yeah, go for I'm it. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do, do it, Jenny. I'm gonna do it. Jenny. I'm gonna <laughs> Tom's I will code. feel his blood on my hands tonight. <laughs> um, I'm sick of She'll it. She'll thank you. I'm I'm am sick of her. I'm sick of it. She's got she she needs more pokeballs, guys. She doesn't have enough poke stops. Hashtag Ben doxed my mom. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, what's interesting about this PVP system is that mm-hmm. Niantic is actually paying more attention to the competitive scene of fucking Pokemon Go than the main yeah. series is of the actual Pokemon series. They're, Dude, uh, let's yeah. get into that. This is a fascinating topic to me yeah. about representation of characters. I, I just thought about this today. Uh, um, so, yes, an outside company like Niantic giving more of a shit about, like, what the community wants and demands and what would be best for the people... Rather than the like first person self uh, self awareness of the Nintendo company, Game Freak or whatever, mm-hmm. that is probably fucking it up bad. Like that that just reminded me of like Cloud and Smash is real Cloud. He's not like gay Advent Children Cloud that Square Enix wants him to be. And also, I thought about in Smash, uh, like Richter Belmont, uh, you know, got confirmed. Whatever, he's he's cool from Castlevania and shit. And like his like intro line when he was put in was the like. Actually, it's Begone Monster. They censored Die, but he says, Begone Monster, you don't belong in this world. That's the classic line from Symphony of the Night. And Except in the remake, the update it. that just got released for that game, like, because of this announcement, probably, oh. they ch- they changed his lines. To and it's like, behold. well, th- there again is a third party knowing the character and what the people want more than the base company. It's just, How is this it happens possible? all the time. Wait, literally how? Wait. No, I don't understand. What do you What do you mean? Okay, my my point is that what what when people think about like uh, Richter Belmont memes, they think he about said, like he what says, he is. says, "Die monster, you don't belong in this world." It is a classic quintessential so, so the parent, game line. So the parent company changed it to be gone. Like monster. something more like I don't know, normal e. But they 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 changed the actual. That'd be like removing you know all your base or belong to us from like a remake of. So okay, that wait, game. wait, wait. So they didn't change it to the smash line. No, they uh, didn't. N- no, they, well, they, Smash they, is the original line, basically. No, it's not, because it's Be Gone instead of Die. Okay, yes, they censored the word Die to Be Gone. Yeah, they did do that, which so is the par- unfortunate. So the but... parent company changed it, but not to... I thought you were going to say they changed it to Be Gone Monster to match the Smash line. No, 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 no. Okay. No. They hmm. changed it to something totally different that, you know, in effect communicates the same idea, but isn't the meme, and That's that retar- was a mistake. This is what... Was it was it Jesse talking about that they changed the lines in Symphony? Yeah, yes. it was Nate. That's right. Well, was it was he, both of us. We were both oh, talking yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so we're talking about the same thing. All right, we're back. Yes, we I feel are. Like we co- we yes, keep we coming are. back to this for some well, reason. Well, the, the reason I'm bringing it up is bad. just like that yeah. and like the cloud example, you know, what, he's like he's like real cloud in Smash. He's like not, he's fake, different cloud according to Square Enix and like all yeah. his representations. And I'm just like, it's it really seems like first person self-awareness of companies they don't know what the people want as well as like outside like fandom do, type do, just stuff, to get into I the guess. specifics of it people know mm. what the fuck we're talking about uh yeah. in pokemon go they've introduced like you know along with PV- pvp it's not just gonna be you know whoever is the strongest pokemon gets to you know yeah. dominate the meta they've introduced like pseudo smog on tears for Wait, the battling system. Le- 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 leagues based on uh on cp, CP. yeah 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 so it's it's gonna be you're gonna be able to battle in lower tiers with like lower cp limits and it's gonna have a wider range of variety in the pokemon That's, that are presented that, that is so cool that it's it's gonna make like shit pokemon relevant yeah i'm That's gonna be able great. to use my cargo yeah, or <laughs> fucking I don't know. Spear uh, uh, Meta Shuckle. Can't wait to yeah. use Shuckle. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking crazy. Are and the battles gonna be turn based, or is it gonna be the weird gym battles? We, it's we, we don't know. It's, pr- it's pro. I'm gonna. I mean, if it's Pokemon Go, it's gonna be the fucking tap and yeah. swipe. I mean, I, we can assume that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, 
speaking of this yeah. real quick. Yeah. I'm curious if you guys have any opinions on this. I happen to see some tweets from uh, Aaron Hansen from Ego Raptor today, viciously defending Pokemon Go uh, as wait, like wait, wait. go or let's go. Oh, sorry, let's go, let's I go. Knew it. Yeah, the, okay. the Pikachu EV one. Okay. As like way better than people were saying. One because he has little time. He doesn't care about like the bullshit extra non-core gameplay stuff uh, that's been piled on top of like the mainline Pokemon games and Let's Go like apparently does away with that. I haven't played it, I don't know. And and then also that like the games were always easy so it's not a problem that the games are easier. This, I, it, I was thinking about this just the other day. I was thinking yeah. about that, I was thinking about the last PCP episode mm. and how people actually defended Pokemon Let's Go yeah. and just getting so mad. Cause like, I was, I just, <laughs> I don't know what kind of I don't know what kind of fucking mutant thinks that, like oh in the call right yeah. now. I don't, yeah, well, fuck you. I don't know what's wrong with you and Hippo and everyone who I is mean... like who is like boy. I sure do love I sure do love Pokemon. I sure am glad that I get to be, play a version of Pokemon that just isn't even a game anymore because I just okay. I love Pokemon. But I don't I love Pokemon. But I don't have fucking time to actually play it or anything. So I have this like shit version that sucks. Thank. God, like what? <laughs> I just all all the only thing is I'm just I'm not as hardcore as you. That's it. That's all it is. And like you could, think I don't that's get disgusting. it. I don't get it. I look at Pokemon Let's Go and I just see all the appeal is gone. But like you, they took out everything I, good. Did you play it? No, I I watched someone play it. For I, like I actually an hour did play it the other day. I I did play it with myself with with my own my so own two is hands. It, is it actually like what he was saying, and it's like streamlined? It's just kind of better, and that you can like just get to the actual. Uh, game? I mean, I, 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 I didn't beat it. What, what, I, I what if, there, what if, what if it was like Pokemon, but there was no real battling and no challenges? But the, well, there sounds is good, Pokemon right? Go? Sounds cool. Isn't that Pokemon Go though? Pokemon Go is completely different and not even the same thing. As slightly okay. All right. made by a different company it, too, so that you know. It was, I, I mean, streamlined, it was just as streamlined like as the Pokemon Game Boy Go. games. Or, you know, the Game Boy I'm Advance confused. games, I mean. Well, okay, Tom. I, I think it's um, safe to say that Pokemon Go what? isn't, like, a threat to, like, main core Pokemon games. It doesn't, and it doesn't in any way, like, impede. Like, it is literally a totally separate company working on it. I'm sure that it uses some dev time okay. for Pokemon can, can, company. But, 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 okay. I, I mean, well, I just get the, that. The, appeal, no, no, no. the core appeal of it is totally I different. get that, and I understand mm. that. But here's my question. Okay. If Pokemon Let's Go is a threat, as you just said, I'm assuming mm -hmm. by saying that Pokemon Go isn't because it's a different platform, but Pokemon Let's Go is bad because it's it's a mainline game, right? Like that's your position? Yeah. The reason could, Pokemon it might be. But the reason Pokemon be. Let's Go is what it is is because of Pokemon Go. So doesn't that mean Pokemon Go is what fucked everything up? It, like, it's definitely possible. Definitely so, possible, so yes. Like, no. So, yeah, I'm prepared to say that let Pokemon Go was part of the problem, possibly. Also, let me just no. read you a quote real quick. No. There was a Maybe, news article yeah. very Oh, yeah, I this. saw this. This is the director of yes, Pokemon yes. Go shit. claims that the game is, in fact, a quote, core and uh, uh, qu quote. Entry. Quote, uh, uh, the, the actual title is uh, Master Dish stresses the Pokemon Let's Go isn't a spin off. Future titles could connect to Pokemon Go. And uh, I, I personally prefer the Steve version. Shouts to Steve. Uh, yeah. Master Dish stresses that the new Pokemon games will be shit. That's, you know, okay, like, he just said, this is a core title. It's okay. time to hit Which the panic button. Which is weird, because, like, that yeah. goes against what they said when they announced if, the Yeah, game. yeah, I, I know, fun. it is weird, if, I agree. If, 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 this is, if this is what Pokemon is from now on, I'm I'm never buying another Pokemon ever again. There. I mean, it. It is I, was, I played defense for Pokemon Let's Go saying it was a place to experiment with different right. ideas. But yeah. if this is what they're going to turn Pokemon into, I don't hate it as much as you guys do, but right. there's definitely stuff from the classic experiences that aren't there anymore that I miss. And so, I, yeah, yeah, I'll be a little yeah. bit more miffed, this, and I won't this... be... I have to take the kid gloves off with my yep. saying yep. that it's not as big of a deal as it was. L l listen, this is going to get extremely patronizing, and anyone who even <laughs> slightly cares about Let's Go is going to think I'm such a fucking asshole right now. Okay, but... all right, I'm listening. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> I mean, this sounds like, like, goo goo gaga, like, vapor, <laughs> like, basic, like, you know, did you know you can breathe air? You can lower the skill floor while not lowering the skill ceiling, too. Yeah. Did you guys yeah. fucking not know that you Agreed. can make it easier without just removing features? 
Did you not think that that was possible? It's it's like they listened. It's like they listened to the people that are like, the hidden hidden stats are too. I don't like them. I I can't fucking. I don't like hidden. You don't stats. need a pattern to I, any I, of I don't, that. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I played but, Pokemon but, games for but, fucking breed, hundreds of breeding, hours without breeding, even knowing what they just were. Breeding's too complicated with egg moves. I don't want to think about egg moves when I'm breeding. I just want to play Pokemon, guys. I just want to fucking catch monsters and beat the Elite Four. <laughs> you you, well, you, know, I, to, you don't Hansen's have to point. breed to do that. You yeah, don't to, even to have Aaron to Hansen's try. Point. He's right. Pokemon is 100%. You can casually brute force without any problem and beat the game. And, like, I guess you could complain that, like, you do have to spend time grinding, but it is you a don't. JRPG at its right. core, right? I mean, grinding in Pokemon has never been a problem for me. I'm someone yeah. who doesn't give a shit about breeding or egg moves or we IVs don't... or any of that shit. Cause I just Aaron Hansen, don't I think, speaks for a lot of people here. Like, more, the more, like, uh, I guess, like, boomer generation who, like, grew up on Pokemon <laughs> and now is an adult and yeah. shit. The, and it's wait, like... No, no, stop, stop, stop. What? I'm, what? You, we can't... We can't just let language corrode to the point that we are just literally calling millennials boomers. Okay, Those you're are, right. I not... guess... He, well, he's a little bit older, so... No, he's he not. He's like, he's, like, he's like my age. He's yeah. like 30... He's like okay, a year I guess older he's a millennial. He's 31, he's I think. Like, he's okay. like... A, yeah, he's a year he's older He's a millennial. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so he's a millennial. Okay, Aaron Hans is a millennial, but we all agree that Ben is a boomer. We can all agree. That's true. But the point is... <laughs> His biggest issue that I could see, he had a, a long string of tweets, um, but the, the main issue I saw with him was that he he was so much happier that it requires less time to play because he doesn't like having to spend That's, lots of time That in makes the game. me so angry. Like, I love, God, I love that I can spend less time playing this game that I love. Fuck you. I mean, because he says Go, that get like, the he fuck cuts out away of the fat here. to get to, like, the core, like, just the... Like the stuff that he values more, which guess I, what? I get guess, that. Guess what? You fucking you strip away you strip away all the bullshit in a video game down to the core, and what you have is a fucking gland in your brain that's secreting dopamine, and that's I mean, it. What? There's nothing else. Everything else is bullshit. It's interesting because, like, as someone who's played some of the Pokemon games, but not mm. all of them, and never to the degree that Ben clearly has. When I played Let's Go, I was just like, yeah, it's a Pokemon game. They changed, like, the capturing. But other than that, it's pretty much what I've always played. So, well, like, all the things you're talking about are some... being stripped out. I don't even know about So it's interesting to hear this perspective. Oh, my God. It, it sounds like the, like the more Then like, why strip them out? Base, if you like never ben. even knew about them, then why on earth would you strip them out? Because even the casual audience doesn't mind I it. Mean, and it doesn't impede their affection. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. And I don't, I don't mm. really have an answer for that. I mean, you know, all I can say is that for my kind of play, mm -hmm. I don't have a huge problem with it because it does what I expect a Pokemon game to do. I, but okay. why take all the stuff out yeah. if it doesn't well, I mean, impede not, the experience I mean, they're trying to create? I mean, I don't know how much of it is is gone. Well, like, like, uh, like whole the items stats are gone. Still there. Abilities gone. Wait, what? Yes. Oh, it, oh my! It's oh my god! It's okay. Yeah, then right. right. Yeah, all right. It's That's gone. It's gone. Are they took, up, they took good. I thought they hold, were in wait, that hold game. items and abilities are gone? Are yes. you fucking kidding yes. me? Are you sure? Yes. yes, I'm sure. You're sure? Right. Okay, I'll take your word for it. It's even worse than I thought. I, mean, I got. I guess. I guess I'm just why? thinking of red and blue, and red and blue let's didn't fucking, have full Let's just fucking abilities. regress. Like, sure. like we sp we spent we spent like a, like decades like building up. Fire like, red and leaf like, green though. Like, like were they in there? I know hold yeah, items well, were. Yeah, 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 hold items balanced. and abilities were. Yes. Build it, building okay. up this car this yeah, incredibly gone. Gone. intricate check. like you know like relatively well balanced combat system and like fucking strategy game and thing, and then like oh wait. Let's just fucking make a new one. Let's just make the next one where we just take it all out again. When Fuck you, it. Why? You, there's no reason to. Listen, Fuck okay, it. listen, Don't okay, it. It, okay, it wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Pokemon Sun and Moon was way easier than X and Y. But you yeah. know what it had? Held items and abilities. There was like, no reason to delete features of the video game or remove them when you can just make the game easier regardless. It's not it's like, like Sun and Moon is like a fucking 700 hour campaign. It's it's like it's like it's like someone like it's like Aaron. Okay, I haven't read the tweets, but it's like yeah. oh, you can get to the core. You get to the core. Let's bullshit. Get to the core of what I like about fucking Pokemon. Let's go. Like what is the core? That like you see a fucking three D model of a Pokemon show up on screen and you clap like a fucking seal. Like duh, there it is. <laughs> like fuck you. What's wrong with you? They just got rid of the game. They just like cut the game in half. I got and a you're question. Like, oh phew. Oh fucking what a relief. <laughs> I got a question. I'm thinking about something, and I'm, I'm, I'm comparing two games in my mind. I'm thinking about what is the core gameplay 
What is the core that people want from a game like, for example, I'm comparing Kingdom Hearts and then on the other side, uh, like Bayonetta slash Devil May Cry. Both are action RPGs, but very different in, uh, like, like uh, Kingdom Hearts is like a, you gr especially Kingdom Hearts 2 is what I'm thinking of. Uh, it, that, that's the most similar one to like, you know, Devil May Cry and shit. Like in Devil May Cry, you still have to like earn orbs to like get moves for the weapons that you acquire. But ultimately, in like Devil May Cry 3, like the goal is essentially to like unlock all the moves so that you can like learn how to do them via, you know, crazy inputs and shit. And, and then you're like, Cause like you do have to do some grinding to unlock everything to play the game like and I guess it's quote unquote core which is what like high level people want to do and Kingdom Hearts is similar but there's way more grinding required to get there you have to unlock tons more moves you start off with way less abilities at the beginning of the game and there's more like customization of like what stuff you equip what what stuff you don't you know you can like set your stuff up a little bit more carefully that way and I'm like so, but I, I bet someone like Aaron would say the core of Kingdom Hearts is like fun adventures in Disney worlds, which is yeah. like, at the very least, some people would make that argument. So I'm like, so should we, for Kingdom Hearts 3, for example, remove all that bullshit customization and just make it as fast as possible? All the combat stuff's just streamlined. You get like one combo you do and you just get more Disney, like faster. Just make I think a it just depends movie. on what I mean, you okay. want. I, I don't want to bring back, back like the archaic yeah. argument from like 2007. Like like games are so fucking short now. All short games are bad. Like that fucking yeah. like old like I can't even believe that I remember that from a billion years ago. <laughs> uh -huh. But why do you want every game to require no time invest in, uh, investment and have no impact on your memory and have it just be oh yeah just just I'm just gonna co fucking consume this game in an afternoon that's and what it never sounds like it Aaron's again. advocating for it yeah. really does it really does I'm sorry I'm sorry to say it Aaron but like he's talking about in these tweets he doesn't have a lot of time for video games don't you play video games for a living what am I missing here <laughs> What yeah. what am I yeah. missing with this with this scenario? Don't you want to like explore the games to their depth? I'm saying it. I think Aaron has lost the fucking plot and he has forgotten what makes video games good and he treats it too much like a fucking business. I think that is what has happened here and uh I I just I guess I just disagree is all. Yeah. That's it. Um <laughs> it's 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 and dystopian. the human characters it's, it's almost... look bad. Listen, I'm going to say it. <laughs> fucking delete hold items, delete abilities, I don't <laughs> care. But when you look at a gross little poopy monster like the main character of Pokemon Let's Go is, <laughs> it's so gross. He looks like a little snot. He looks like a little <laughs> booger. I hate him. Okay, but I, I want to dial it back because I, I, I get why. Like, Tom's right here. Tom likes the game. I, I get it, because he... I'm not going to dial back for like, a different. this in the show notes. <laughs> it, it, it all depends on what you want, right? But, like, I think we could all agree. The goal, the I think what we would all want is to lower the skill floor to a place where people can get on board and have a great time. Even the most casual of casuals, that's fine. But we want to keep the skill ceiling high, right? We yeah, want I mean, people I to be able to go you. deep. I don't, because I... And the weird thing for me mm -hmm. is that as someone who played Pokemon Red... At yeah. ten years old, mm -hmm. the skill it. floor mm -hmm. was fine. Yeah. Uh, I I I, yeah. I mean, okay, hey guys, like guys, we we gotta make Pokemon <clears throat> casual. Yeah, like we need more people to. Oh wait, uh, look at the PCP main okay. chat. Oh wait, oh wait, shit, everyone can play this game, even like moms and babies. Uh, yeah. Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. It is the <sighs> sixth most selling game of all time. Is there something yeah. just to be said that people have become pussies though? That like they just like don't want to even if they could if they put their minds to it they just they would gravitate away I, from a I game am, like this. The new games are broken and they need to be possible. deleted. I am I am possible. wondering if this attitude that, because like you know I've heard other people with similar attitudes to Aaron's yeah. right like it's not I don't know there's there's something to it that like he's not the only one that feels this I'm wondering if it's some kind of outgrowth of millennial bullshit. Like, which is a which it is a term that, that I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing well, millennial bullshit as a thing that I coin and that is associated I, with me specifically. That's as good. in as in a thing Monetize that I that. That, as in a thing that I battle against. Make a shirt uh, of that, Ben. Make a shirt ha of that immediately. Hash hashtag millennial. You that know what? should I be your will. I am game shirt. <laughs> you know what? I fucking will. Um, good. Uh, good. 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 
Uh, it'll say fuck millennial bullshit, and then we have, say, we have I am games, and then you're gonna have you are millennial bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you, ah, that's you, good. If, you probably are viewer in some way or another. <laughs> I um, I think I Aaron's problem is specifically that he's become too much of a business boy, in my humble opinion, which is a he, different problem, but also an insidious one. Okay, I, he says he likes that he gets to walk around with whatever Pokemon I want. Yeah, everybody liked that. Everybody loved that. Yeah, every, like Gold. you can do that in, without in, crippling in Heart, the game. In, well, yeah, it, everyone loved that in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and yeah. yeah, it's great that it's back. But why do they take but, out? But, by the way, I, mm. I I want to say, by the way, in case anyone tries to retort this this uh this this hashtag mm. evidence that Pokemon is one of the top selling games of all time, uh, by saying that the other games you know got more competitive and therefore sold less, while they mm. aren't at the top the first ones. Every single core Pokemon is on the list of best-selling fucking video games. Pokemon yeah. Gold and Silver, Ruby and Sapphire, Diamond and Pearl, uh, fucking Black and White, X and Y, and fucking Sun and Moon are yeah. all on here! Are yeah, all just... separately on the best list of best-selling video games of all time! Yeah, but is this gonna beat them? No uh, way. No. No, no way. No. I don't think this I don't think the Switch install base is there for it to beat them at this point. Mm. I mean this is definitely pushing to help that when Smash comes out, I mean that'll be a big that'll be Okay. A... So well Aaron Aaron here is arguing that Pokemon Let's Go is not easier. Just, are you looking at his are you looking at his I'm tweets? I'm looking now? at his tweets. Okay, okay, it seems like his contention is that the game is not easier, merely less tedious. Which okay. I guess I can kinda get There are a, I mean, in its defense, because yeah. again, there are a lot of great features I thought that made the game less tedious. And, I think I, I can understand the argument for replacing the wild battles with the Pokemon Let's Go throw mechanic. Sure. Like I, I, mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, honestly, I don't necessarily love it, but I don't think it's retarded to prefer that. The only thing that I don't like about the the, the throw mm. mechanic is that it, it the, the tracking isn't one-to-one. -one. So, like, yeah, actually okay. throwing it where you want to go, at least for me, is a pain in the ass. Because you it, can throw, like, yeah. left, right, or forward. There's no, like, nuance to it. So yeah, it's, it's it not looked, great. It looked, it didn't look like like it doesn't. It's like in Let's Go, you actually have like like the way that you move the ball, like like you know you you get an arc based on how your right. finger moved. And, it and didn't, this it's not, is it's, not. It's like it's like it's like digital in in yeah. Let's Go, right? It's, it's, yeah, it's not. It's not analog at all. It's kind of like if you played Skyward Sword when you swing the Wii yeah. mode. It's not a one to one swing. It just has like eight directions you can swing in, and it guesses as best yeah. as it can. This is similar to that, which is not great. Um, yeah, it didn't look great. But like to be the thing that I, and I really... don't know why they couldn't have done it because like they have motion control. Right. The right? thing that I thought was I really know. great, like probably my favorite addition, like besides like the overworld being able to see the Pokemon because it makes it easier to find That's what great. you're looking I do for. Like that. I like how like there's no you don't mm -hmm. have to go to the Pokemon Center and go to the PC to access your box. You just access it anywhere because it it allows you to experiment with more Pokemon. Because you could do, if you want to switch out and try like something new, like the guy you just caught, you don't have to be like, well, I have to stop what I'm doing. Uh, I have to fly I, back okay, to Pokemon. Well, well, I don't know. I, I, like, like I, like like, I like the, like the team. I like the team. Like, I like that like, you got your team, right? right. You, develop, you develop a core team of six that is like your and, uh, boys. And you, you can still with. do that, but if you don't want, if you want to keep switching it up, you don't, it doesn't, it, it removes a step if you want to play the game that way. Well, hang then, on, Tom. It, hang on for a second there. I, know, I know this I like is this is like one. early game issues mostly, but like as I'm going through the game, if I remember correctly, when you put a Pokemon in the box, it heals its HP. If you then swap it, like, is this just a way to heal all your Pokemon instantly if you're like going through a dungeon or something? I don't know. I because hmm. we haven't. I we've, we've only played it a couple of times on stream, and we stopped, okay. and we're playing Spyro now. Uh, but I haven't played it enough to even like notice if that is a thing that happens. Because you don't understand because um, the game. Because the whole thing is that like yeah. Yeah. because we've <laughs> we've only been because uh, like the whole thing is that like if you catch a Pokemon since there's no battle like you don't do damage to them. So when I swap somebody in, it has full HP because of course it does. Like there was like, never any battle damage to begin with. Sure, I just. Uh, I saw my friend playing it, and he's fighting like Brock. And Brock has more than one Pokemon, but mm -hmm. he's they're playing multiplayer. And Brock sends out his Geo dude. He's got his Onix in reserve, and like because they're playing like with two players, like their main character sends out two Pokemon, and you just two v one. Yeah, you can well, just, that's weird. You can, you can just two v one all the time. B by and the way, it's insane. I, I, I just want to say that for how much you think Pokemon Let's Go is a baby game. Actually, like, watching it in action was fucking, like, insane. 
<laughs> here's I should do that. I he, should, here's, what do you mean? here's what happened. Uh, before I actually got my handsome controller, like my friend booted up his like save file and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I and then he's just walking down a uh, cycling road. Also, by the way, quick side by the way, uh, <laughs> cycling road. It's a bridge in the old games yeah. because otherwise the boat, the SSN, would be landlocked. They made it just a normal land route, so the so boat SSN is landlocked. Yeah, it's landlocked now. Um, well, which great. Okay. So super. And anyway, didn't besides think about that, that. Uh, autism. Um, she should, he, he's just walking down cycling road and a chancy appears and I piss myself and I'm yeah. like, holy yeah. fucking shit, a chancy go, go catch that right now. And he's like, why would I have 60? Like they're not rare. They just spawn oh. like, like constantly. And I'm like, oh, cool. like, I cannot believe here's the thing, uh. you know, like having stakes or like having resistance or having any fail states whatsoever makes it so that winning has merit and makes you feel good in any way. Having things be rare makes it, it, it makes feel you, good it, when it, you get a it, rare thing. No, it makes you feel it makes you feel anything at all. And, and that's <laughs> not it. And that's not it. That was like fucking small potatoes to prepare what I'm about to tell you. There are catch streaks. So when you catch a single Pokemon, like for instance, he was trying to shiny hunt Eevee. So he mm -hmm. would just in, encounter an Eevee you know, you know, catch it, and then, you know, continue on with the day. He was just trying to catch as many Eevees as possible in a row. Once you get to a high catch rate, aka, like, 30, you can get on your Pokemon that can fly, go up into the sky, and Wild Dragonite and Charizard spawn. Dragonite and Charizard spawn for you, Wild. That's, wait, wait like, in the sky? Yes. That sounds pretty cool that you're in the sky, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's more like the, like it's the same map. It just is like you're higher up. It like is looks it, is it, is it like up. that? Is it like oh. that thing in like Omega Ruby where you can ride around on Latios? No, no, whatever? nothing like Not, that. Not nothing even slightly that like that. No. Oh, it, it, okay. it, 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 well, okay. I don't. I don't want to overstate it and make it seem like, oh my god, like I can't believe like you're flying the Pokemon. It, like it's cool. It, it looks like it, it. just looks like you are riding on your Charizard and he is like elevated slightly right. above the house. So the point is, the game is just throwing powerful Pokemon. Yeah, it, it's at you just throwing Dragonite Charizards at you. As I'm trying to say to you. Well, that's fucking gay. Uh, people, go watch a little video called "Game Difficulty: Why I'm Right and Everyone Else Is Wrong." We Agua. Uh, it sums it up. It's the genius uh, uh, word of God on this issue. Uh, I'm just... uh, the, the, the fact that you can fly is kind of cool. I don't want to yeah. like diminish Agreed. it. I'm just trying to say yeah. that you just get fucking free Dragonite and Charizard for no reason. I'm 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 having just... to work to get legendary Pokemon. Uh, like I mean, you know, effectively legendary. Like, yeah. like finding a bag on in that one area, leveling up to Salamence, finding a trap inch, leveling up to Flygon as I legendarily did and had the greatest time of my life. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, fucking getting a gibble, evolving into mm -hmm. Garchomp and shit, as I tried yeah. to do and failed in my most recent Nuzlocke. But I would rather fail than it just be handed to me on a silver fucking platter. Yeah. Uh. Um. I. I. Th fucking. You know. I. I Apparent. Okay. I don't know. Who Poor you Tom. Were I'm so sorry, with. Tom. <laughs> just I mean. I mean. I, I, no. Like that is kind of gay, and I. I'll yeah, give you that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I I don't know who said that like this this is a mainline game. I'm hoping that that's like a mistran. Uh, oh, it's got to be a mystery. He was drunk or something. I, I hope don't know. So. Whatever. Uh, you know. You know. I'm still hoping that like this isn't like 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 that. That doesn't mean like this is what Pokemon is from now on. Ben, listen to this. Listen to the full quote. Here we go. This is the actual quote. I'm gonna is read it. Is it translated from Japanese? It's true. So there could be some wiggle room for issues. But but just listen to the language here. Okay. Quote. Uh, yeah. And his name is uh, Junichi Masuda. These games aren't spin-offs. These are core Pokemon titles. As for whether we would make other games that could connect to Pokemon Go, that will depend on how the games are received. If we hear a lot of people saying that they enjoyed being able to bring Pokemon to these games from Pokemon Go, then we'll think about maybe having future titles also be able to connect to it. W w okay. Which, to be fair, but sounds like he could just mean in the sense that these games, you know, could be legacies in the sense that, you know, Pokemon Go has more interactivity, and he doesn't mean, yeah, like, the it's easiness possible. of it. Th th but there's no reason to not that believe imply... it as well. That doesn't that doesn't necessarily imply that that what he means is that like this is what 
future games will be like. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, these are different from you know, let's the not Rather forget. game, but like, but, 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 but they're still, we're still considering them core games. He's but definitely... That's not, that's not to say that all core games will be like this also. It's definitely in his interest to kind of upsell the importance of this game as the yeah. director, so I would not be surprised if he's maybe a little bit exaggerating. So you know what? We were a little bit pushing fake news. This well, is not as I, dire, I think. I, I, mean, I, no. I yeah. have no faith in Game Freak to not do this. Like, I just I don't believe to. them. That I they're, just need to I see the next damn believe. game and see what it is. Then I don't I will believe know. them. Well, I mean, I aren't they going to reveal it at E3? Didn't they say it's a 2019 release? Like well, They say it's yeah, 2019, it's out, but I don't right? know if they've said about E3 or anything like that. I mean, I yeah, I if know. it's coming out in 2019, they have to show something at E3. I would, I would hope so. I would hope so. Oh. Uh, it could it could just uh, come out uh, you know in 2020 or something when when they release the the new new yeah. switch they got to have some title to push people to go buy another fucking yes. switch that they will inevitably release at some point. That's true. That's true. Uh, the, oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! Please, Nintendo. This is unironic and actually true. You know how you have a 3DS XLs? Make a mm. Switch XL because the Joy Cons are shit and too small, and I can't Dude, play video games with them. Yeah, yeah. The solution: just prop up your thing. Buy it's it's seventy bucks, but buy I know, the it's like. It's so fucking. Why is it seventy yeah. dollars? It it is great though. It is a great controller. No, this but this is it's what Nintendo spot. needs to do. They need to not be gay, and they need to spend the extra money. Get a hundred twenty eight gig game. Card. Cards, mm. So we don't have to put everything on the anemic 32 gigs of storage on the fucking Switch, you morons. I, I bought a I bought an ex, a fucking additional micro SD. I did too, thing. but it it's it's the principle of the matter. Yeah, like, I don't want to have to. It sucks. Get, get make the game cards 128 gigs, or make the baseline Switch have 128 gigs of built-in memory and not yeah. upsell anybody on it. You fucking nice. bastards! Like but, releasing by, by a the console way, with 32 I, gigs is an insult. 32 gigs, yeah. After all this bashing, I would like to announce that I am literally buying a Switch today. Hey, dude, Smash. Oh, we come yeah, on, hot, dude. I'm playing damn. Smash. Uh, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm dude. Yeah. Oh sure. my God, Nate. Let's fucking play Smash Bros. Do it, dog. Yeah, fucking play. I'm good. I'm good. Like fight That's against people. the fucking best. Everybody, yeah. come on my stream yeah. next fucking Saturday uh, at 7:30. I'm planning to like fucking fight against people, you know, out in the world anyway. Let's all play Smash. It'll be great. It'll be oh, fun. Oh, oh, Nate, you know what the Smash players do, which is so fucking fun? What is, do they do? Uh, they allow subscribers and, like, donators to, like, battle them in Smash and just, like... I, that's what know. I was planning yeah. on doing. That's yeah. what I was planning yeah. on doing. I have yeah. to find yeah. my Switch because uh, it disappeared from where it oh, was. Dear. I think Digi took it. And, and just okay. took my switch. Literally beat him and get it back. You know, even if he's like, yeah, just take it. Now hit him anyway so that he learns his lesson. And <laughs> yeah, uh, it's true. Get that shit back. <laughs> it's um, Smash time, people. We've got, when you hear I'm this, so Smash is coming out today if you're yeah. hearing this. Today it is out. Wait, this is isn't, literally isn't, the biggest isn't, game in the world. I don't care about Smash, any other game. Isn't Smash out already? No. no uh, it's five days from today. Uh, okay. It was leaked, leaked, though, so everyone knows everything about it. That's true. <laughs> but I don't care. Okay. Uh, I don't, I'm so, I don't okay, really okay, care listen. about I don't uh, really care about Smash either way. Um that's hey fine. uh Nate, um yeah. Subspace did you know that Subspace Emissary is horrible? No, like, it's not! Why Nightmare? Nate Ben no I want to be friends with you. I want to continue working <laughs> with you as a colleague and as a coworker. But if you keep saying racist shit like this, I'm not gonna <laughs> be able to justify just, our relationship. It's just it's such a snore. It's so you, bad. It's you are such work. a snore! You are <laughs> half asleep the, the, the play it, while you playing play it. it for... You put down your controller. I'm so mad. I wish the I wish Fat 32 would suck my <laughs> Fat 32 in a <laughs> release just so that people could see your incompetence playing the best video game ever made. I, I seeing you play it for a couple of reasons. One, there's an actually kind of compelling story, specifically where Rob's concerned. It's good. Yeah, yeah, uh, I did like that. Second but it wasn't, of all, but it is, wasn't worth wasn't worth sitting through like fight yeah. a bunch of fucking mooks in Smash in like AI Smash battles for like yeah. eleven hours. But I kind of agree. But by, by agree. the way, I want to be extremely clear right now is that Super Smash or, or Subspace Emissary is one of those games where uh, when you play it like with your hands and you're actually playing it, this is mm. probably the most miserable experience you could possibly have your entire life. But yeah. like Lego yeah. Star Wars, <laughs> the complete saga, as soon as you put down the controller and you walk away, you're like, oh my god, I love that game so much. You get to see all your fucking <laughs> Boys fighting each other and teaming up and stuff in like yeah. canonical story shit. That's what you play it for. That's yeah. the good it's, shit. It's fu It's just a bunch of fucking like stupid cutscenes that exist to justify. Okay, 
it it is like the cutscenes are there to justify why are these Smash characters fighting in this AI battles that doesn't sure. need any justification. It could have been it doesn't uh, just need a fucking, it, but it's fun. S- yeah, just it's a fucking the, sequence the, the raid, of fights. The raid on the ship entering it, the black hole to go like fight Taboo at the oh end. Oh my of god! Oh Emissary my god! It's it, dope I, I, as I, hell. I forget what's called. I think it's called. Sure, it's called like I like guess. The, the, the the Great Infiltration or something like that yeah. or something like that. That's like the most hyped cutscene of all it, time. It, 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 it is Kino. It's so it is Kino. so fucking good. When you have when you when you beat all the hard levels of the entire team. world, yeah. and you're yeah. hard off the heels of having Rob enter your party in the best fucking most like like it's like it's like it's like the Schindler's List of Super Smash yeah. Brothers. <laughs> when, when Rob okay, chases people. Yeah. And, and, and then you ha- you unlock all the characters and you're ready to fight Taboo and then they all get in their rickety fucking rocket ships and they all do a full-on assault uh, on Ganon and Bowser. They, yeah, and dope. you see uh, you see Med Knight's fucking the Halberd. You see Almar's ship. You see Samus's ship. You see all these cool fucking spacecrafts shoot this giant Toho looking monstrosity. Destroy <laughs> it and want a clean slice by Kirby yeah. by me! God damn. It's that so it. good! Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, it's there's like one minute that's kind of cool, and then like there's like sixteen hours of fucking. All right. Drudgery. Well, for some people, that's enough. I, I don't think anyone would really argue the moment to moment gameplay of Subspace Emissary is like particularly great because it's not. Um, yeah, it's pretty shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it good. is. But but All what right. we got to re- the the legacy of Subspace Emissary, I think, casts a long shadow. Yeah. And uh, in the in the good definitely. way, and it's uh, pretty fucking dope. Uh, yeah. By, by yeah. the way, the ideal way to play Subspace Emissary is to make it as painful as possible and like <laughs> like like make it such a terrible experience that it's like legendary. So the like one of like like a like a fucking what what do I say like like a tradition. Uh, whenever yeah. I where I meet up with one of my friends is we start a, a, a new game file. And uh, of Subspace Emissary on intense mode. And intense mode, uh, the the hard mode for that game is one of those hard modes where they didn't actually like balance the game to be hard. No, they no, just no, made no. every enemy do like like five times the damage and have five <laughs> times the health. So it just is the most broken, fucking like worst, unpolished mess of a video game you could possibly imagine. And it takes like hours to complete one fucking level. Uh, and it's so like balls like rockingly hard that. It it takes like the entire time we're together to to beat it, and it's so euphoric. It, it it's really it heightens the cutscene so much to be playing the game as hard as you possibly can be playing in complete fucking silence in darkness, eating pizza rolls, <laughs> having just to, like press like smash the start button when it says to continue, just like fucking like yeah yeah like I'm not even gonna register that we just lost completely. I'm just we're just gonna jump right back. We just have to continue going, and yeah. you finally get to like the end level, and you get to just like like. Scream Scream in agony and throw yourself back into the chair and just watch the fucking three second cutscene that is re- that is rewarding you. It makes it such a more valuable experience. And I now like memorized every cutscene back to back because when they were playing, all like like I just like shut off my brain to like ease the pain, and all I could just watch was like <laughs> Midnight and Ike broing out. That's like just all I could register in my brain. Yeah, it's great. That's game difficulty for you, even when it's broken as shit. It when you if you overcome it. You get a a, a a a little little brain reward. Those endorphins go, go buzzing, and you just strip away all the bullshit from the game and just have that fucking dopamine. Why well, oh, yeah, yeah, direct yeah, stimulus? Yeah, sure. We just video games should just be like a helmet you wear that directly it, stimulates it that just land. Sticks like, a needle in it. your brain, yeah, and just like just vibrates your pineal gland or whatever. Oh, oh, it just like I, punches I, I, I you in the gut like a VR over game. and over again. Oh my god! Okay, you I, get a dopamine video hit. video games should just be you hire someone to come jerk you off. Well, <laughs> guys, guys, I have the best idea. It's a Pokemon game in VR, and it just is a link to Bulbapedia and just cycles through the gallery of all the Pokemon in order. And that's the ideal <laughs> Pokemon game for Aaron Hansen. It's just you see Pokemon designs. <laughs> Agreed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that, that's it. It's like, it's like the, fucking, the, the 3D model of your favorite Pokemon comes on the screen and you fucking clap like a trained seal. Mm. Uh, 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 oh, I love it. God. I will say yeah. about Pokemon uh, Let's mm. Go, um, the animations don't exist. They're terrible, dude. Why... Are they so bad? I always see that compared to Pokemon Coliseum, which had these crazy, meticulous animations. Yes. Oh my god! And XD, like, what happened? Watch fucking XD's a- animations for Pokemon. Listen, you can say that XD sucks, sure, but look at Golbat's animation in that fucking game, and it's you insane. will okay. be yeah. destroyed. Well, 
<laughs> yeah, you're not ready for fucking Golbat in XD. <laughs> Golbat's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah. He like, and, like, like, just so people no, know, he hugs no himself really... with his wings and just he, rocks back and forth. He's not, yeah, he's not flying. He has his arms Why wrapped around his flying? weird little <laughs> I don't know, body. but it's hilarious and, he's, and great. And he's just, like, rocking back and forth like he's a fucking serial killer. Oh, or oh AJ shoot the Golbat. Oh, AJ, AJ shoot the goal bag. I just, yeah. I don't my, my understand. Main man. Dead. Is he? Is he dead? He, he's not dead. Okay, no, okay, he's he's go. he's one of our best dudes. Mm-hmm. One of our greatest assets. <laughs> I just don't understand why there's like no excuse in Let's Go to not like have animations because like you That's just like have the, the original thing, right? 150. Like it's not like you got to animate well, 700 wait. dudes. Like, well, yeah, oh, they, yeah, that's true. They, 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 wait, why don't they have animations? Because, like, in the mainline games, like, like, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't the Let's Go just use the same 3D models as like all the other 3D Pokemon games? Don't they use the same assets? I think that. Well, I think none the of those models. I think the models from the. Yeah, they do. They do have animations. Like they, like, like, yeah, all the do. Pokemon have like animations for their battle moves. I, and, I, and I'm stuff. watching it right now. I cannot believe this. I I guess I wasn't paying attention, or I, I you know what I you know what I literally probably thought is that my friend had like like the battle style set to like not to, was it was a battle style in the main yeah. series games where you can turn yeah. off battle effects. I probably literally thought it. it. I'm looking at this. Pikachu is like a statue that like rotates yeah. to the enemy Pokemon and like jumps to indicate it's attacking. This is insane. It really is doesn't it? make any sense. And, like, the weird thing is that, like, I saw... Because I was watching uh, the Digital Foundry video on Let's mm-hmm. Go, where they, like, go over, like, the frame rates and the models and stuff. Yeah. And, like, apparently the models used in Let's Go are the models from the 3DS games, just yeah, yeah, at a higher so resolution. Yeah. But, so, like, they, they've already got animations. Yeah. Like, the animations are made. And they just chose... No, let's just not use and they're, them. They're doing let's this on have, the Switch. Let's, like, this let's is just have upgrade. Let's just have it be... Let's Instead of something, let's have it be nothing. Well, I haven't played Sun and Moon, so I don't know how they compare. No, no. Well, but, Sun Moon has, they, like, they, actual animations. They, it's not, I mean, like, a pussyfoot yeah. thing. They, they have they different ha- animations. They have anim- different okay, moves. like, the, the, way, the way that the other 3D and uh, Pokemon games do it... Is like okay. As far as I'm aware, every Pokemon has a few like different attack animations they can do depending on like whether it's a special or physical move, and yeah. maybe there's or, variations. Or stats move. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they'll have like they'll have a, a they'll have an animation that they'll do, and then there will be like a separate effect that like plays like a beam right. or you know a blizzard right. effect. Like there's or a something. couple like little animations here and there, but like a lot of like the moves, there's just nothing. It's just like an a, an effect, and like I guess that that makes sense back in like th- Game Boy Color days when you can't. You just run yeah. out of memory if you have like as, forty frames of animation for every Pokemon. As much as much as I prefer like the pixel style of like black and white or something to the three D, I think like the three D like the animations look mostly pretty good. Like some of them are kind of weak, but mm-hmm. like in general, like uh, 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 it looks uh, I mean, it I mean, looks I mean, like they're perform it looks like they're performing. It's just the weird move that Pokemon Stadium has more and a better animation than Let's Go on the Switch. I, I, I don't, I don't want to suck the dick of the 3D animation too much, because there's a lot of animations in X and Y and later Pokemon games that kind of fucking blow ass. Like, almost all the bird Pokemons, all the bird Pokemon that are, like, gliding in place look like a nightmare, and, like, they're absolutely abysmal. Yeah. However, yeah, I like, like, I would say probably the majority of them are fine and serviceable, uh, by the way, I just want to let you guys know that, uh, like, like the the walking animations for all the Pokemon, as seen in Pokemon Let's Go, were yeah. in Sun and Moon's files, and you could like access them. So everyone knew some crazy shit was happening. They they animated mm. walk cycles for all the Pokemon, by the way, not just like the Kanto ones. Like literally all of them, they all have walk cycles. Uh, well, good. Uh, yeah. So I have no idea why they didn't import everything. I have no clue. In Sun and no Moon. Clue. Uh, but I mean, this gives me hope that walking uh, Pokemon will be in the other games because I mean, again, yeah. all, all the Pokemon have walking animations, like all of them do. That's the thing. That's the thing we all really liked in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and they were like, eh, Pokemon Company well. has a weird fetish, like a bizarre fetish on R slash fetish that is like <laughs> just removing game features that everyone universally enjoys for no reason. Literally, yeah. why would you remove the Battle Frontier? I cannot imagine it would it would take away that much effort to make the Battle Frontier just like an area on the map with battles. Like it's not that fucking difficult. I have no idea why you keep removing it for no reason. 
I mean, I can understand at least why they removed the uh, the walk sprites because, like, you know, it's that's a lot, lot of. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Actually, I mean, it's sure, the Pokemon that's a lot of Company, work. dude. Yeah, they're yeah, not sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna change it. Like, sure, that's a lot of work. But like, is it so hard over the course of like a single development cycle to pay one artist to make walk sprites for you know six like six hundred Pokemon? Yeah, and like they've already got fucking. Uh, they've got the models. You can just. I don't know. Yeah, making a walk cycle and maybe a couple. Maybe making a walk cycle is not that. For for one model can't take more than like a day for like a professional, you know. Well, now we're you know three days, so. Just get a t- I'm I I I don't know. I guess I'm talking out my ass, but like, they've got their fucking resources to do it. You'd I think so. Know. I mean, you'd, you'd think yeah. so. And, and I'm again, sure, I'm sure, it's I'm sure, not I'm sure, like... I'm sure they're, I'm, no, 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 I'm sure they're paying their 3D animators just a king's ransom for a salary, so they can't yeah. possibly afford to, yeah. to pay, like, one this animator or two n- to do this. This is fucking indie studio. This is Nintendo yeah. and Game Freak. Again, Pokemon yeah. top selling video games of all time! Yeah. Pokemon yeah. games are made on such the fucking cheap. It's so bizarre and Yeah, I awful. got, I got no sympathy for, for that shit. They, I'm sure they're doing just fine. Uh, yeah. These yeah. fucking guys... Um, oh, I can't wait God. to buy Gen 8. I cannot God, wait to I, buy it with my money. Yeah. I sure do love Pokemon. I sure do love how fucking mad I am about it all the time. <laughs> Dude, uh, remember when Pokemon went Blarg and then he shot the other Pokemon with his beam? Yeah. While standing um, still like a name, statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh know. my god, remember how hype it was when Pikachu rotated two degrees <laughs> and then jumped up attacking Geodude? Wasn't that so fucking hype, dude? <laughs> I feel like using the word jump is a bit, uh, yeah. a bit generous, considering yeah, his, just, yeah, his just increased his the, y the model value, increases you know? like, the Y he, value. He parab- parabolically increases and then <laughs> decreases Y value. No <laughs> movement of the legs or lower body or anything Oh, that's really. the good shit. <laughs> no gravity yeah why like, remember like what, uh, i don't know man i was just gonna say like some pokemon like it doesn't make sense how they even exist like geodude i guess magnetism or something so for him having meaningless animations you know okay but with like like pikachu's got legs dog he can all right you get the idea pikachu is and like already got animation but here's the thing that blows my mind even more them. is that like you have a game called pokemon let's go pikachu and like every player is going to yeah, see pikachu, pikachu himself Maybe yeah. spend a little yeah. bit of time giving that character some animations. Yeah, like, that's a that yeah. great point. That yeah, character yeah, even if no one else. has a, sp- a sp- specific move set that you know the player is going to get, and the character can't evolve because you can't evolve the Pikachu or the Eevee in these games. Right. So just go through the effort of making maybe making two sets of unique animations for these two characters that you know everyone's going to see. Maybe. You know what I hate? You know what I hate? Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I know that Eevee, the Eevee in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, has like boosted stats and gets like special moves. Right. Yeah, I, I assume that Pikachu also has boosted stats. I, I don't yeah, know that for they're sure. They're both it OP does. as fuck. Okay. I don't like that because uh, it's like fake. It's like fake bullshit, and it's uh, not real Pokemon. It's like we're we're making special magical Pokemon that like why why are they better than every other Pikachu? Uh, why this I, is I think a it's problem. just because even I think it's... in like side games like 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 Go, the yeah. fetishization of certain Pokemon. Mm. I miss when Pokemon like was just like like Pikachu. Sure, it was the mascot of Pokemon, and you know yeah. what? That was mm-hmm. fine. It was all in the all the promotional material. But at the end of the day, it was one character of many. And in the actual games, it did not have like like it didn't have boosted fucking stats. It wasn't yeah. like you know yeah. the main character that was forced upon you. It wasn't you know just like the be all end all Pokemon. This is the main character of Pokemon. I, I do not. I literally do not understand like who Pikachu specifically appeals to. Like, who, like, who sees, the, like, oh, man, I really want this because it's got Pikachu I in mean, it. Like, no, I mean, they're clearly people think Pikachu. that way. Yeah. yeah. There's I, definitely... Sure, 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 sure. I like Pikachu. He's fine. But I don't understand, like, does he, does he, does Pikachu in specific appeal to people in a way that well, Pokemon in general does not? Pikachu is shorthand for Pokemon in general. So, like, if you want yeah. to play a Pokemon, you got Pikachu, cool. There's the guy. There's the man. And I guess boy. he's, like, the most widely recognized one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think some people just like that's Pikachu. That's fine. Like, sure. I, yeah. 
uh, that's fine. I get it. Uh, I, I hate the starter is forced upon you, and while you can have him not be in your team, like, battle-wise, he's still, like, on your shoulder. Fucking gross. It makes I mean, me why? really upset. I that, and I hate it's yellow. It's the conceit of the game. Because I'm not I, because I like that Okay, listen. I like, I like that shield, you can have him on your I shoulder, don't like but I don't like... I, but if he's not in, yeah. like, on your, in your front spot, he probably shouldn't be. It's... You know? I, that was... I mean, that was just part of the game, I guess. It's like, they... they but clearly, like, the games were, like, if you like Pikachu and or Eevee, like, they're a huge part of this game. Like, there's a, there's a whole, there's a whole yeah, section of, like, being able to just, like... It's literally called Pikachu or Eevee, right, the like game, so... I, I don't care. You know what? Well, hang on. Was was Pikachu better in Pokemon Yellow? Did he have boosted stats in that game? Um, no, He probably actually. did, right? It, I, I no? mean, it's... Who can fucking say? Maybe it did, but... Because, like, the stats weren't visible back then, so there was no way of knowing unless, like, you, like... I'm just somebody knows out Well, you there. you you could see you you could see this you could see their stats. You could see, you I could mean, see you like could... the number stats, I guess, but like I never cared enough to compare them. I, I know. I mean, I'm sure yeah. there's experts out there, deep cover people right. who know you know the the formulas. Ah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say no, but I'm not. I mean, sure. most... I mean, Pokemon Yellow was a meme game anyway, and you know, oh, yeah, I do. This really just comes back to. This whole thing about like like I don't care if this is a spinoff that doesn't like mean that hmm. all Pokemon games are going to be like this forever. Uh, Monster just the guy stresses who's... that all future Pokemon games will be shit. Well, he yeah. stresses. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Oh, By the way, yeah. really everyone's like, they'll, they'll, oh be, my God. they'll be shit for the masses. For they'll be shit for the pig like masses <laughs> to roll in and love. A- ever, everyone, please with Pokemon Company on a daily basis. Bring back Pat, Fat Pikachu. Bring back Fat Pikachu. But we're gonna bring back yeah. this Pikachu. That's what I want to know. That's I... why do why isn't there a Pokemon Let's Go Lucario? That's that's actually a great question, and I would not put it past them to make a third version no, of Pokemon Let's Go. No, I absolutely fucking wouldn't. Why, why not I a want, Pokemon uh, Let's Go uh, Mewtwo? When Square Enix is gonna make a Final Fantasy Let's Go Lightning? That's what I want. That's just all lightning Man, all, all the time. People, why isn't there a Pokemon Let's Go Sonic? All you people in your Son- Pokemon and your Final Fantasy, I'm waiting for oh, Sega to get off their ass and release it, Child Garden there, Adventure. Yeah. When's why isn't that isn't there coming? a Pokemon Pokemon Let's Go Sonic Two version? Oh, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I fucking. You know, I honestly imagine Square Enix making Pokemon Let's Go Lightning because in in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, you can like pet your Eevee or Pikachu, and you can like yes. pet them and like dress them up and stuff. I'm yes. sure they're gonna do that. You can Wait, do uh, that in a Fire uh, Emblem game too. They made Pokemon Amiibo for like humans in a Fire Emblem game. Isn't there like <laughs> isn't there a Pokemon Fire Emblem crossover? Uh, no, I don't think it's, it's Fire called Emblem. Super Smash Brothers friend. <laughs> no, 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 it's no, 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 no it's, it's like Pokemon, Pokemon and like some. It, yeah, yeah, but it's like some like Japanese like oh. historical like Edo period yeah. war. I yeah. think like, that strategy is the thing game. that was real and not a fever dream. Yeah, Pokemon yeah. Conquest. Oh, I, I, yeah, I found it because when I was doing Pokemon, uh, you know, Nuzlocke Conquest, mm. I end, I like Googled that for some reason, and I found Pokemon Conquest, which is like a crossover with this Conquest series. Weird. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Got a Nuzlocke, it, bro. Man. Shit's weird. What a world. Mm-hmm. What a Pokemon world. We all live in a Pokemon world. It's a whole new world we live in. Uh, It's a whole new place to see. It's a whole new thing. (laughs) With a brand new attitude. attitude. But still gonna fuck some fucking ass Pokemon Gen 8. Best that you can be. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, enough Pokemon for the the love of God. Let's let's get the fuck out of here. I'm so sick of just talking about Pokemon. Should we just go to questions or anything? Let, let's let's get the hell out of here and kill ourselves. Yeah. Let's get the fuck. Okay. Yep, All let's right. Do it. Let's let's, do it. let's pull up some questions. Oh here. oh wait wait actually there's something extremely important. Hold on I I need to get sure. you guys. Uh hold on yeah please please put this in uh the show notes uh, editor. Well, that looks good. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Oh. What are we it's looking at? Sombra and uh, I don't know maybe that's shiny Rayquaza. Looks I, good. I Google searched Pokemon Conquest, and this is one of the first images. Wait a minute, look at his... <laughs> this is Pokemon. So he, I mean, that guy's dressed up as, like, a, a lord or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's actually yeah. the Oda clan. Well, yeah, so, no, yeah, he, he's dressed up Sengoku from Noba Ubi Dubi from yeah, uh, Japan. that's him. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, Buddha, fantastic. you mean. Yeah, yeah, right. B- Buddha scooby Doody. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's move on. Uh, okay, yeah. here we go. Uh, speak pipe. Here they come. Send us your voicemails. <sighs> Uh, what's that? Speakpipe. Uh, Tom, what's the URL? Speakpipe.com slash Hey guys, PCP it's me, a PCP fan. I Shut up! I didn't hear the go. URL, Munchie. God damn it. <laughs> Say that again, Tom, please. Speakpipe.com slash PCP voicemail. That's the one. Thank you. Cool. Link below. Link below. Okay. Question one. from This is from... Um, shit, where'd it go? 
Uh, Moonju. Moonju oh, calling in with God. a question. Uh, yeah, valued watcher of my streams. Go. Hey, fucktards. How many times do you feel like you gotta repeat a recording before you get it okay. right? I know Nate's a perfectionist, but what about the rest of you faggots? Love, Moonju. That's it. Mm. Depend. I mean, depends on what it's a recording of. We yeah, we do like about all, twenty takes of every PCP episode. Honestly, make sure. in almost in almost all contexts, one and only. Yeah. One. Like when when was the last time I like re-recorded something? I can't even think of it. I do multiple takes of stuff with Weagua, but the real I mean, reason I do that is because maybe if it's like, if it's like line delivery or yeah. if it's like a song yeah, or if something, it's scripted, then you would like if I stumble over a line in yeah. an I am game script, I'll re say it. But like for my vlogs and shit, it's all off the cuff and I don't give a fuck because the whole point is yeah. like if I have to edit it, I've done something wrong. So they're just yeah. one People shot and done. People don't seem to have, like, absorbed this fact. People always think that I write scripts for Weagua. Like, I do many takes for Weagua, but it's specifically because I am coming up with everything. I, I might have bullet points off the top of my <clears throat> ugh, fucking head. Well. But, um, like, I, so I'll do multiple takes if, I, if mm. I just say something wrong or, like, I didn't say what I wanted to say or it sounds incorrect. But, like, that's pretty much it these days. I mean, if I'm doing a script, but I don't do many scripts, you know. Those best anime ever come out once in a blue moon, so... Not too often. Not too Tell often. me about it. Oh, 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 oh. No, next one. This is from uh, this is from Steve yeah, Saint. Yeah, let's keep this. Let's keep this going. Yeah, let's. Steve Saint is oh, calling in. Oh, the third in. child. The, mm. the third one. Here we go. What What do you got? Hey, what's going on, PCP? Uh, I think you guys are really fun to listen to. You guys are really nice. cool. Wow, thank but, you. Uh, I do have a serious question to ask. It's been burning in my mind for a oh, while. No. Uh, how do we know Ben Saint is real? And not just like a halluc mass hallucination. Mm -hmm. Because I swear mm -hmm. to God, I'm hearing things on my bed. And yesterday, my heavy cream disappeared. My heavy cream's gone. <laughs> uh, things are going weird in my house. And uh, when I got out of the shower a couple hours ago, I looked in the mirror. It was just Ben Saint looking back <laughs> at me. Uh -uh. So I really, I'm starting to freak out. Maybe you guys can help me. Uh, maybe you, Nate. Maybe you know how to deal yeah. with this. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I need some help. I'm freaking out, guys. I, 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 I too, mean... thought that Ben was fake and slash or at least a catfish for many years <laughs> uh, until, I, until, until I met him in person. And I'm just going to tell you right now, you can't make this stuff up. You can, like, everything <laughs> you think you know about Ben is, like, like, uh, like uh, on the one dial. And he takes up to ten on the daily, bro. He takes up to ten on the daily. You cannot make up what he dishes out on the rig. I'm... Well, here's all right. It's like Santa Claus, right? Like I like to like I I like to say that I believe in Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. But the thing about Santa Claus is that Santa Claus is not a person. Spirit, Santa Claus is the spirit of Christmas generosity. And when one person gives a gift mm -hmm. out of like like Christmas spirit to another, like that act is like Santa Claus. That sounds like right? some fluffy like, la la bullshit to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it abs oh oh for sure. That's just how I like. Every time, so every, every time you so drink heavy cream. Ben Saint is yeah. there in your heart. Just look Every, into the mirror uh, uh, and take three chugs of heavy cream, and Ben Saint will appear and, as you as you fade yeah. into a coma and you lose consciousness. You'll catch a that glimpse. That act. That act itself is Ben Saint. Every time Saint. you, like every when, time when you, you, when you drink a, a Ben Saint. Every time yeah, you pull yeah, a tab yeah. on a Monster Zero and you hear that little clink, that's Ben. <laughs> that's Ben looking yes. down on you. Every every time every time you buy Arizona tea in bulk and then water it down so you have more Arizona <laughs> tea to go around, that's Ben. <laughs> yeah, a, that's in true. In a nutshell, that's true. Okay. So I am a, I am a concept, Steve, mm -hmm. my brother. Um, Next episode of this voicemail is uh, Clamato. Clamato, I think, is calling in, so go. All right. I work at a grocery store. There's constantly these Spanish guys that come in, and they buy Clamato juice, <laughs> yeah. which is part clam juice, part tomato juice. Whoa. Yeah, I've heard why of Why would this. you want this? Why? Like, I, I'm pretty sure they mix it with alcohol, but, like, why? <laughs> why? Okay. Well, I, I mean, why? clam chowder comes in red and white varieties, uh -huh. and the red kind is, like, tomato-based. Oh, yeah. I've never had red chowder, but it's a thing. That's not New England so, clam chowder. That's the other kind. No, New England clam chowder is the white that's kind. That's right. That's right. Um, I guess the superior the kind, kind, if you will. 
Uh, yes. Agree. Well, I don't know. Probably. I, I, I've, I've, I've tried never both. even heard of of red clam chowder, and that sounds fucking disgusting. How could you possibly not? It's have reprehensible it for sure. Uh, the white never... shits. That's the good shit. Maybe yeah. Uh, right. I don't. I mean, I can't answer this question. I don't know why someone would eat drink clamato juice because I have never had it, and I mm. have no desire to. Especially those Spaniards. They're a wily I bunch. Mean, can't keep a tab on like, their thoughts. I mean, maybe it's like V eight. How do you guys feel about a V eight? Not a fan. Not a fan. It's, I haven't had it's enough okay. to really it's make not... a call one way or the other. I guess yeah. it's growing on me more. Like, I'm more willing to drink it now than when I was young, but I wouldn't choose it. You know, it's... I don't know if it's really... I mean, yeah, it's probably got... It's probably fairly nutritious, but it's yeah. also, like, very sugary. Yeah. Like, it's all yeah. sugar. Uh, any any, any product that insults me in their advertising, I'm not a huge fan of. Does they're, it? How so? They, they, yeah. They, they're, their advertisements of old was that someone would have a drink, and then a bottle of V8 would slam their face... And the, their their slogan was you idiot should have had a V eight and I'm just like wow. should have had a V eight I'm like yeah, oh, yeah. fuck you yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want a V eight you dick that was when they had like they had like the like fruit version yeah the they V eight like, splash like, V eight splash V eight splash that was a good which shit. I kind of like I love yeah it. I kind of liked V eight splash yeah I have it probably some. still exists I, so I love V eight splash to answer this question that was about something totally different <laughs> yeah uh, okay that's... <laughs> next question yeah I'm glad we figured that one thank out. God for that uh, next episode is, uh, uh, this is uh, Tommaso Chaco Chaco calling in again. Let's see what he's got for us. What's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen at a church? Mm-hmm. One time I was invited to a church. It was like a special Thursday. <laughs> and they decided to reenact Kurt Cobain's suicide <laughs> and have him like write out the letter to Courtney, Whoa. put the gun in his Whoa, mouth, what? and then gunshot fade to black. <laughs> Wait, what? Into the, cut, into the scene from Brokeback Mountain <laughs> where the Heath Ledger is going, I can't quit you. <laughs> and... The pastor's daughter came out and said they killed themselves because they were gay. <laughs> and this is the last time I ever went to this church, both because it was incredibly fucked up. Why would you stop going after I that? I was dying yeah, laughing show, and, embar- and embarrassed my friend's entire family. Oh, good. Uh, I haven't talked to him since, uh, but I don't know if I really want to. <laughs> Uh, see you later. God. Uh, well, you should have tipped your fedora at him and, and moonwalked out. <laughs> Um, uh, man, it's tough I had to think sec- of a story I had sex that compares in a church. to those. I had, I had sex in a church. Yeah? Did you really? That was... Yeah. With God? Oh, my God. In, like the, in God's yeah, house. Right. <laughs> uh, no, with, in college. Um, just, there was a... Ch- no one Is was that how church. you became a bishop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> filled with the um, Holy Spirit. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I was... Oh, she Oh, she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking disgusting. Oh, right? That is oh, reprehensible. Oh, it was fucking <laughs> gross as hell, dude. Yeah, dude. She, she, wasn't, she wasn't filled with the Holy Spirit. She was filled with a saint, all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, uh... God, yeah, I can't even think of anything that compares. I don't know. No. Um, I, I guess the weirdest thing I ha- that I've experienced in a church is that when I was a wee lad, for my, my, my mom is super Christian, mm. and for a while... We would, this is like back in like 1995. So I was like okay. the smallest of children. Mm-hmm. We would go to a ch- church that was like an hour and a half away from us. And the whole mass was done in Latin. So for an oh. hour and like change, I would just be sitting here. And like in and, and, and Latin masses, the priest is not allowed to look at you because you're, you're lower tier. He has, to look, he has to look at the tabernacle where the Eucharist is, which is like with the Jesus wafers. So he would just have his back turned to you the entire time, speaking in Latin. All the nuns would be there like chanting. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on? I just want to go watch <laughs> Toy Story. This is fucked. That's kind of aesthetic and cool. That's like a Bloodborne scene where you go in and then you like kill them all with like your charged R two uh, hunter's axe. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't that get to do cool. that part. That part would have made I, it too bad. sick. But uh, I, I, no. I continually dismay my entire family whenever mm. like a church scene comes on, like a TV show, or even when we just pass a church and I have to like avert my eyes because I feel like scared, just like <laughs> in the presence of crosses. And this isn't a joke. Like like the Indian the Godfather came on, and you know. Fucking, I, I, I haven't even seen the movie, but, you know, the mob was going to town and killing a bunch of people. Haha, <laughs> spoilers. Yeah. And I'm more scared that someone's getting baptized. It was the scariest moment of my fucking life. They're it chanting in, like, a dead, archaic language, and it's all, like, darkly lit. It's awful. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah, you probably... So pro- scary. It's probably, seen, it's probably seen Godfather 1, where uh, Michael clears out all his yes. enemies, which is yeah, during yeah, yeah. the baptism yeah. of his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. awful. Baptism in churches, it's so scary. 
It's all it it feels yeah, like I don't mean this in like a like a derogatory way, I guess, but like it genuinely feels like a cult. Like you are inside of a scary, creepy pasta. I mean, I mean, I mean it I mean it literally it is, is a cult. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. There there's a famous exchange well, I guess it's famous because it's got hundred thousand, possibly millions of views on Joe Rogan describing all uh, uh religion, religion as, a as a cult. Yeah. And I believe it's Eric Weinstein. Eric Weinstein is uh Saying like, well, it's not fair to call it a cult because like they, you know, there's some like embedded wisdom and it's like it's a package yeah, that was passed yeah, eat down. A, yeah, eat a eat a dick. Yeah, yeah I don't a, know. Eat a, eat a dick. This point is kind of reasonable, but also fuck him. Anyway, um, <laughs> I actually like the guy. Okay, moving on. Impressionable Elmo is calling in. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. And he's impressionable, and so let's all be very respectful and not gross <laughs> and corrupt his mind. So let's let's go. Here we go. Hey, Big Bird. I'm gonna say the N word. Oh no. oh no! He's been listening to the PCP again. Oh no, Elmo! I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I'm gonna say the N word. No, no Elmo. Elmo, no! Stop! No, say N word. <laughs> Eat cookie instead. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say the N word. No. Yes, Elmo. Yes. <laughs> Be a garbage monster There's like me. Say no. the N word, Elmo. No. Build the wall. <laughs> Build the wall. No, Oscar, get the I'm, fuck out of here. I'm gonna say it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. I. 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 No. Oh. No, God, he did it. It was bad end. It was game oh, over. I, I, by the way, that I want to let you guys know that I unironically thought that that guy's Oscar impression was a Ben Saint impression. And I thought Ben <laughs> <game> was. <laughs> I wish to be a garbage person like me. <laughs> yeah, Elmo. yeah, Build yeah, that wall. yeah. Oh wait, oh so so you thought it was me? Like I would be the one encouraging yeah, yeah, you to exactly. say the N word and saying build the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, okay, that's not a joke. That's not like a ha bin say each other. Like I actually thought that he was going for a bin say impression. That was like the like goal that, of man. the scene. I'm I'm hurt. I'm wounded. Um, <laughs> I'm wounded. Um. Well, all right. There, there it is. I'm really sorry to hear what came. What happened to? Impressionable Elmo. Yeah, hopefully. At our hands. At our hands. We did this. I hoped for better. I hoped for better. (laughs) We did. Yeah. So lesson to all of us. The blood. We're the the blood is on our hands. We're the reason people are dying. (laughs) That's right. That's right. right. (laughs) That's right. That's our new catchphrase. Uh, (laughs) All right. Next up is uh, Peg Pelvis Pete has a message for us. I'm sure we all need to hear. Crazy shit. Ben quotation marks Saint in quotation marks. Insert Polish name here. Yep. What did you do with the butter? I've been on the edge oh, of my seat yeah. all week, all whole seven days <laughs> oh, this bu- week to, to hear the resolution I can't believe to this we forgot. enthralling story about the butter. Oh, man. And to my dismay, upon hearing this week's <laughs> I'm episode, so sorry, Peg. I, I did not receive such a resolution <laughs> to the story. You, right. You've uttered the words, but no story. That's right. So, Ben. What did you do with the butter? Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Backstory. So, if I remember correctly, the order of events is mm-hmm. um, on last week's shekels for heckles. Yes, I I said something. I was telling a story about some some butter, Dark Souls, about how I I cooked some butter or like I melted some butter in a pan, <laughs> but then changed my mind about cooking. So I just turned the burner off, let the butter recongeal in the pan, right. and then left. And then said like like the, the like like the ultimate fate of the butter would be resolved. Yeah, this is a big like, deal. Soon. This is a big deal. And Nate, story. and you were you were like, I will ask you to resolve the uh, butter yeah, story my on PCP, but you failed. You did not bring up the butter story. So everyone was left. In I made suspense. a note of it too. I made a note before yeah. the episode, but I forgot. So and then on my stream on Sunday, someone asked me, "What did you do with the butter?" And I did, I did, I did, I did spill the beans. Okay. I spilled the beans right into, into the that butter. butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. And 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 I don't know, should I should I tell the story or should I leave it as a as a as a Twitch no, Saint Comics so slash, slash Saint Comics Twitch TV slash slash Saint Comics exclusive content? You, uh, don't do it, Ben. Don't do All this right. to us. All right, I'll tell the story, okay, but follow me God. on Twitch anyway. <laughs> um, uh, well, um, I'm pretty sure I just cooked some sausage in it. God damn! <laughs> damn! Fine. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah! Well, did it use up... That's a lot of butter, though. Did it use up well, all I'll, the butter? Well, I'll, seg- I'll segue into... Uh, okay, 
I'll segue. This segues into my fa- my personal favorite keto recipe, okay. which is really really delicious, mm-hmm. and and I highly recommend it. It is you get like Italian sausage or spicy sausage, doesn't matter. You chop it up, or you or you you you, you chop it up or cut it up, what it, fucking whatever, and uh, cauliflower, preferably yeah. fresh, okay. and you just fucking saute it. You just put it in a fucking pan. And you put it in a bunch of butter. You let the cauliflower soak up the butter. You salt and pepper it. You salt and pepper it with the fucking sausage. You mix it all up with the sausage. It gets all hot and it gets all soft and, and browned and delicious. You take it out. You put it in a bowl. You sprinkle mozzarella cheese all over it. Mm. And you let it melt all together. And you I'm eat so it all. Take it I can make this great. literally right now. It's I have super good, dude. It's super good and like and cauliflower is pretty low is pretty low carb. Yeah, if you so cook it's that, it's take a, a totally picture, keto meal. And if it's real, let's add it to the show notes because I want to see that shit. All right, uh, I will. I actually, will I I have a okay. picture. Actually, I, I posted a picture in Ben Saint's Hellfire oh, Hamlet. Good. It's some like like the first time I made it, I posted a picture in the like food in the food uh, section uh-huh. of that. Uh, so I, I can ben, that speaking the speaking of keto. Link chat. Ben, what huh? you said you were you were making you were mixing heavy cream and like some chocolate thing and adding stevia to it and making like drinks, right? Is that Hot. yeah? It's just it's just, you just yeah. Heavy cream you can dilute it with some water because otherwise it's really thick. Okay, mm. and then you um, stevia and cocoa powder and maybe some vanilla. Okay, extract. my question and you, and you microwave it and it's hot cocoa and it's delicious. All right, you're you're doing it hot because I had it cold and the cocoa does not mix at all. It just stays gay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I, no, and I thought I thought I'd purchased yeah. the wrong kind of chocolate material. If, if you no, yeah, stirring in cocoa is a nightmare. It is the worst. Like, Using yeah. like a blender uh, if, might if, be if the you way might, to if go. You, if you make it hot, if you heat it up, it will mix in much okay. better. Yeah, yeah. that um, was the thing. Because I thought I I mean that was although the alternatively it's if you want to do it cold you make it in a blender and you add like ice yeah and like maybe some coffee like i like to freeze coffee as coffee cubes like mm. for iced coffee yeah that's cool so it doesn't dilute it it's good so like i'll throw in some of those coffee ice cubes into like you know uh, uh heavy cream cocoa stevia vanilla extract and i'll blend it in a blender or a, or a, a magic bullet or something did you just get and... a fucking ninja blender and if you stole my switch i feel yes. i feel obligated to steal his ninja in response <laughs> you, yeah. yes yeah. dude yeah 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 mix mix maybe you can add you can add natural peanut butter too which can be good Nothing... and also thickens <laughs> thickens it up a little more and anyway it makes really great like really great fucking like milkshakes that are really good and totally keto get back that fucking switch tom i'm personally invested i just I, i've got something in me that hates when people take game consoles from other people and did like, you I know did, you probably okay. weren't using it it probably Wait, wasn't a big do I deal know about this do i know about this did I know we what, just what we mentioned it or, he just took my switch off of where it was oh. set up for i am games and just it's gone hmm. he also he did that probably... for my my PS4, okay, that's not so bad. Like he probably thought, no, like, oh, no, no, no. Tom wouldn't mind if I just. It's not a huge deal. I think the bigger but, deal was when he took my laptop because he was going to buy it, but then decided that he didn't want it because it was too expensive. But I opened it up and there was like a bunch of porn tabs open. I'm like, dude, it's not even yours yet. And you're jerking off with it. Wait, unacceptable. Yeah. On the Switch. Yeah. On the Switch. No, this is a laptop. 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 He was going to buy a laptop oh, from okay. me and, and was using it for okay. porn, but never bought it. And I'm like, you gotta, you can't. There's like an unwritten rule: don't use another yeah. man's technology for porn yeah i mean yeah. he's got his he's got his own computer uh, i mean it was probably just sitting right there and, disgusting you know, the time was of the essence mm. so clearly I have, to, I, I have to put it on <laughs> yeah, ebay yeah. now it's it's defiled and i don't <laughs> dude you'll pay good money for that the the digi bro defiled they, they probably the, the, would the digi <laughs> file like the laptop. fbi which would have to have hardcore evidence deep cached in the ssd of yeah, wrongdoings <laughs> so all right yeah. next call next call here we go this is from the big gay Let's hear what oh he's got god, for Oh my god, really? The big, I mean, that's what he says. Oh, I, the big, We can't not prove the any gay. identities, but I think it's the big gay. That's what it says. So. All right, all right. Welcome. Let's, let's see what he's got for us. Why the hell do people not like gay people? Honestly, <laughs> I can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> what a self-serving like, question. What are the most sound, quote-unquote, sound arguments you've heard against homosexuality? <laughs> also, fuck you, Kyle. Just because I'm not okay with homophobia does not make me a fucking SJW. I'm just curious as well, to why people think the way they do. Okay, well, okay. hang on. What do you mean well, by Well, you okay come to the with... right place because as as avowed homophobes ourselves, <laughs> yeah. we have great insight into the mindset. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, first of all, I don't know who this Kyle f- uh, uh, individual is. Sounds like a real hero. Uh, but uh, mm-hmm. I would... Uh, build the wall. Build yeah, the wall. we got to build that wall, guys. We got to build that wall. Um, sounds like that guy's got a lot of good things. people good out, which is his intended purpose. <laughs> um, okay stick with me here here's my like utilitarian 
point as oh, to why I, uh, there's obviously a lot of like religious baggage here, right? But okay, sure. tell me if this is insane. All right, two guys, for example, can't fucking have a child. That is an inefficient setup. That's an inefficient setup. For that reason, I'm gonna say that homosexuality is objectively inferior to heterosexuality on that basis alone. What Wouldn't, do you think? What uh, do you got? Nate, I mean, you have sex and you're not making a child. Right. Uh, that was my first thing. But like, I but I have the option at my disposal. That's, right. That's a, right. That's, no. Look, you, you you've got one more tool in your toolbox to use. Therefore, like let's say one's a hundred out of ten. One's got to be a ninety nine out, out, out of when, when, out of hundred. Come back when you've had a kid and you're gonna have any firm footing for this argument whatsoever. But it's possible, and but, that's but, not Nate, possible. Nate, Nate, you got to admit that, right? Here's here's my argument. I, th I think you're I think you're close, but you're not no, 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 quite. Nate, you haven't quite thing, hit though. on the reason. Nate. The, the, the thing is, it's like the more gay people there are, the less dudes are out. Uh, uh, trying to get women, which means you have more options by default. Well, but remember, I like hard video games, and I want the challenge <laughs> to have to rise up uh, gamers and overcome and, and, and break Stacy's will and, you know, make her, you know, my housewife, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. One of my many harem wives. Anyway, I don't know. Um, I think it's mostly religious shit. I think yeah, that's the real answer. That's really um, no, I mean you can't argue no, with the doctrine, unfortunately. Like, I yeah. don't I don't think it's no? I don't think it's a religious thing. Because, like the like the alt right is not a religious movement. Uh, like not even a little yeah, bit. They, is the alt right I mean, anti gay? Well uh, of course they fucking are. are. You sure? Of course of course they are. Yes. I would I would kind of think so. Uh but uh, I, I guess I don't the know. Thing, for the sure. thing the thing about the thing about like bigotries all just they all come they all fucking come together. Like all right. racists sure. like racists are like tend to also be homophobes, tend to also be, you know, anti fucking Muslim. I mean, I'm not they're I'm like, not saying that all... people in the alt right don't hate gay people. I'm just saying mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a tenet of alt right as a platform. I, I have no idea. I, I, well, I would imagine the overall tenets of, of alt right is like a, de a what they perceive as a degradation of social values. I mean, so I the think ten the 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 the, 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 the tenant yeah. like okay, since the alt right is not a unified front, right, there is right. no there's you know there's no like official position it takes on anything. Sure. Just like we just need to but, ask like, Richard you know, Spencer. As, He'll as, tell a, us. as a general as a general movement, just like the alt like what the alt right believes sort of in general mm -hmm. is just whatever the Nazis believed, and like like that's that. That's just that's just where it all like points. Uh, this might be a bit of an exaggeration, I but I, it's I, it's not it's not an exaggeration. Well, I'm okay. no expert. <laughs> uh, 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 I, yeah, I don't. I, think, I think, it think is. you know what? There's probably something just sort of biological about it. Because like you could you could take my point and like make that into like a hatred thing. I guess you know like if you choose to take it to that place. Because like you could say that it's quote unquote unnatural because it's you know not whatever. But like there are like gay animals. You know it's obviously a People are just gay by default. You know, many of them. I, I guess some choose, but it seems like the vast majority just are that way. So, like, I don't know. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to, like, hate people for that sort of thing. Um, but it, it is, like, I, I, different. It is, like, weird, kind of, for, you know, heterosexual there's, there's people. Some, okay, okay. I was I was watching this video yeah. by this guy, another sibling of mine, Jack Saint. Yes. Slash, la, slash Lacking Saint. It was the, the, the truth about 90s cartoons and, quote, LGBT brainwashing. Mm -hmm. okay. And... Uh, I mean, I don't, I won't talk about the whole thing or anything, but it, it, oh, oh god, oh god, oh no, I started this point and it escaped. Oh fuck, the, my point escaped. Oh, god, what Jack Saint. Saint. W. Uh, something about, oh, something about, like, oh, 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 like, the reaction people, like, the reaction people have, like, like, okay, like, U like putting a German character in The Simpsons, like, putting mm -hmm. Uter in The Simpsons is, like, it is... Quote, it is you could call it like quote unquote German representation, mm -hmm. right? And it's just as rare. It's just as like unique as like having a gay character, right? Yeah. There's there's not a lot of Germans running around in Springfield specifically, and yet that does not give the reaction people have to like when there's a gay character who is like stop stop shoving it down my throat. People don't say stop shoving Germans down my throat because like Uter is in The Simpsons, yeah, or yeah. like you know I just or, or like. People don't people don't ask for it to be like you know I'm fine with it just like just just I don't want to see it or anything. Right. It's, well, it's something nobody has. I don't know nobody why. has ethical problems with someone being German, or at least yeah. a far fewer amount of people do. Yeah, yeah. You know, like like especially going back to the religious thing, no one's going to be like being Germans against my religion. But like, if I really you're... think there's an overarching like miasma that has lasted I from don't... like. When I mean, we, it. Yeah, like religious stuff. I, and, I, I, I'm with Nate. I, I, I think there. 
Well, with what? I, I, well, what I think it is is that I mean, religion was dominant in culture, and you know, just go back, you know, a couple decades, and you know, most people know. were Protestant Christians, and you know, it's not okay I to be gay in there. And so I feel like a lot of you know, all right, people are just people in general want to preserve the social values that came before us, and some of those social values were rooted in Christianity. So I think it's not so much that they think it's bad because God said it's bad, but because they think it's bad because it's the way things have been and you know they are conservative they want to conserve the way that the society is currently or you know mm -hmm. was in the past and the the reason why society was the way it is in the past because it was religious mm, i guess that makes sense but, but um, by the way addendum to my point uh uh certainly uh like homosexual couples can adopt kids of, co of course that's certainly true um but uh, 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 so, but but a heterosexual couple could do that as well. So I, I stand by my point that there's just one option not on the table. And you know what? I'll go I'll go a little it. further and just say it does look like traditionally the standard family unit was a pretty efficient way for raising families. And I'm just saying that's yeah. that's more up in the air when it comes to like same sex couples. I, I don't think I guess. In, in, the, in the gays' defense, though, you can't have I, I, you can't have accidental I think, I think pregnancies you're, if you're gay. So like you sure. can't fuck I, over your life. I think I think you're looking at it a little too pragmatically. That's possible. I, I don't. I, I think you're. I think you're trying to reason it out. Something that well, is isn't like that appropriate? At least to a degree. Yeah, but I, well, I think you're trying to reason out something that is just kind of inherently irrational. What's the uh, irrationality? Why I well, why not have sex? I'm pleasure? talking about like. Not liking gay people is is just is just. But that's sort not of my a, position. It, that, no, no, I know, I know. But you're trying to reason out why people oh, do it, yeah. and I'm saying that I I think it's a pretty in sort of inherently irrational, like emotional sort of response people have, and I don't really think you can mm -hmm. reason out a, a hard why. Well, I you know? I got it. You, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, uh, I think it's a combination of biological and cultural factors i guess that people just mm. and because of course ultimately just everybody can do whatever the fuck they want who cares and then that's that's life just you I, know one, one thing i found sure. interesting that is like a was a big argument uh you know like like if you're born gay you know if it's a choice or not that was mm. like a you know uh one of the main arguments at the center of stuff back you know back in the 2000s you know when yeah. gay marriage being legalized and stuff uh but like why does it matter if it's a choice or not like, like, why is that part of the conversation? Why I think does that matters in a religious well, context. I, I think it. Mm, I, I, I know I keep it, going back to that, but still. I, I mean, if it is, a, if it is a choice, well, I, I mean, I, if it is a choice, then you could say that someone could stop if they wanted to. But yeah, but, I guess. But, but I mean, why they don't want to? And so, why do we have? I mean, I mean, I guess it just is, you know, you know, God says it's bad, so you want to force. Other well, like, okay, we can all agree that, like, I guess it makes more sense to see it as a sin, or to like punish it, or to or to demand change of it. Well, if okay, it's not people don't like things choice. that are different, right? We can all at least yeah. agree to ourselves that historically, it sure was the way things were. That it was yeah. a man and a woman would pair up. That just was the way I mean, yeah, things generally went, right? We're not going to be crazy bad. here. And so when, when something news around, people are going to be, like, wary of it, right? They're going to think, well, that's weird and strange. I don't know what's going on over there. I think that's probably, like, the biggest factor in the whole, in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think another problem with, the, with some of the backlash and people who don't like uh, gays and stuff is probably because uh, society, especially now, seems to confuse tolerance with acceptance. You know, it's not enough to be mm. like, I'm not really a fan of gay people, but fine. You have to love gay people. Like, you have to be like, being gay is great and all that shit. Mm. And that, well, well, there's an element to that. I, I want to say that we were doing so well and we were talking about, you know, pragmatic. We were talking <laughs> about video games. We were talking about, you know, you know, being part of communities. <laughs> we were going so well. And then the meme question, why do people, like, yeah, like why is yeah. it so bad to I be was gay thinking guys? That, why do people but... hate gay people? <laughs> I was like, we let's just roll long it. philosophical uh, diatribe well this is this is why society has been this is the hill that PCP is going to die by this, <laughs> by this question people are for, dying out there guys e people are dying out there we're the reason we're people dying. are dying because we're the reason right, the gays let's... are dying and all other people yeah rest in peace uh, all gays sorry we couldn't save you but um, let's move on to the next question please god <laughs> um, alright all right. this is from endless fart 
Endless oh. fart. Hmm. Go. Mm-hmm. Brap. So, as a fan of the PCP, I know this guy is Munchy and Ben Saint. Um, I seen him promoting this game, Endless War, and I say, you know, this guy is really cool. You know, you know, I'm gonna try the game. It seems really cool, and I don't understand anything. I don't even <laughs> use Discord. Uh, I'm Argentinian. I'm from Argentina. Uh, we communicate here through smoke signals. Um, <laughs> so I try. I try. After day, after uh, every day after school, I come back. I come back. I do my homework like a good boy, and I try to understand it like three hours every day. <laughs> I try to visit the website, and then they say other information. Why don't you update your information? No. Um, I try to talk in the chat, and they say, "Ah, oh, you're a fucking rowdy, you fucking piece of shit." No, that's not and, 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 no this is that that's racist. That's racist. <laughs> so uh, after three days, I think I understand it. So I, I mine, I mine, I mine. I go yeah, to the dojo, good. I buy a weapon. Manchi tried to kill me, and I avoided that. I don't know how. Um, so so I leave. I leave. I I leave the game there. I close. I go to sleep. I come back from school the next day, and and I'm dead. I don't even do anything. I leave the game. You what the f- oh, you, What do I need to you, do? I get killed say, anyway. You, I leave the game you, you, right you, there, and I get killed. No, no, no. <laughs> Where were you, dude? Were you in? Were you in Cop Kill Town? Were you in Juvie's Row? Probably were not. you in a mine? All right, all right. He must have been in a, Th- that he must have been in a. That person is like zone. the bizarro world, like AU of Robo Dobot, uh, who, yeah. who, who is Chilean. He's like he's like the other, like the flip side of the coin, like like the dark version of him, who uh, <laughs> who, who who was Argentina and couldn't get into RFCK because he didn't know what text commands were. This is like this is like <laughs> like you know the 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 equivalent. Man. It's too okay. Did anyone else have trouble understanding that guy? I, got, I can understand it. it. I, yeah. I, I got most of it. I got most of it. I struggled here and there. It's uh, it's a shame that like the one guy, the guy who calls in to talk about like the specifics of Endless War, yeah. something that I am infinitely interested in discussing and in yeah. having people hear about. It has is like you know thickly accented and it has like bad audio quality, it's making it sort of hard yeah. to fucking follow what he's saying. <laughs> The goddamn smoke signals, am I right? Well, it, I mean, um, I, th- this guy was definitely interesting because he's like, I think, I felt he was archetypical of people, or archetypal, whatever, of people who, like, try and don't get into RFCK. But this guy's actually committed more than most, I it think. It sounds like he, he... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It, it I mean, sounds he, like he, he under... I mean, he, he went to the dojo and equipped a weapon. That's, like, pretty... That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. He's figuring he, it out. He, he's, he's figuring it out. The, your, prob- your problem must have been that you were waiting in a in a... In a PvP zone, yes. which is I think you know, this that's is just a tale ask- of that's one just, man's that's frustration just, with the game. That's just asking to. Well, you know, it's not over yet. He's got a long way to go. <laughs> um, uh, b- uh, by the way, okay, yeah. okay. Well, number one, um, the PCP audience, as far as I can tell, is sick of us talking about RFCK and like is actively mm. like hostile towards it, at least in the Patreon okay. lounge. Uh, so I don't want to dwell on it too much. Listen, I listen. I've been in the Patreon lounge. Okay, it's a fucking crack quagmire. There, <laughs> quagmire. All right? I don't know. I'm there's not, there's not a lot not of movers and shakers it. hanging out in that chat. Let me tell you, <laughs> not a lot of big wig fat cats. We uh, those people it, hang out in the bonus lounge for five dollars a month. People, that's where you want to be. That's where all the real shit goes uh, down. Uh, it, it, I mean, what, I mean what's, the, play what's the problem? Are 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 the uh, are they are they a bunch of digi heads who are just like, huh, what's a text command? I mean, they well, probably like, just like, haven't like, tried playing, and then they just like are like, yeah, okay, we get it. I mean, you just like make digi. a game, <laughs> move on. Yeah, uh, uh, just yeah. like the Pokemon. In, in, anyway, if you haven't tried playing in a while, or you tried, you know, playing like a long time ago and it didn't work out, orientation is the channel that you are posted in as soon as you join the Discord. Just read it. I like. I'm sorry if it takes you literally two fucking minutes to read this video game explanation. Does it cover it safe you... zones? Does it cover that? Yeah, yeah. It covers okay. everything. Okay. It covers Good. everything you could possibly need to know. So fucking just read uh, it. And the then game you'll be able has to play the, the game, game has changed. Man, the game has changed so much. Yeah. And like, it's so different now. Like even like, even like two months ago. Yeah. It was so different. Yeah, that's true. I'm um, out of the loop now. Yeah. And, uh, uh, all right. and if you guys, it's, if you guys just, if, I, I really think it's better. If than you're one of these people who can't understand text commands, just too complicated for you. It's too like esoteric. Uh, c- c- come to my Patreon where I have a game with buttons and graphics and like yeah, excitement. Yeah. It's, it's and go great. pick up a copy of Pokemon Let's uh, Go Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> Using <laughs> this Amazon link. Yeah. Use my Amazon, Amazon affiliate, affiliate link, link in the description. It gives me five dollars, <laughs> and uh, you get a great game that doesn't uh, challenge hey, you in wanna... any way. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't. Aaron Hansen approved. Aaron yeah, Hansen right. approved. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know if we mentioned, but I saw you, you you tweeted a gif of a Zoomy game. I did. And it was like, she's running around in a city, and it's it has, like, the, the city walls behind her mm-hmm. have all these really great little, like, graffiti uh, references to Other PCP games. games. Yes. There's, yep. there's, there's, and, there's, and really there's like, R, there's, R, but, 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 there's RFCK yeah. commands, there's the Autonomous logo, there, I think there's more there's that pump. I'm forgetting. Yeah, there's pump. There. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's pump. It's really yeah. sweet and nice of you, and teehee, like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I okay. Just, just wanted to if, say if, that that if, was cool. If Tom knows how to enlist, use exclamation point enlist, then <laughs> you can too. Yeah, and he it's plays Pokemon Let's Go. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even Pokemon <laughs> Let's Go players can play in this war. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. I'll next, wear that we, badge with pride. <laughs> we got three more here. Let's go, uh, Monkey. Monkey. What do you oh, got? It's gonna be good. On the podcast recently, uh, nutrition has been a big topic. Mm. I'd say mm. there's been a lot of talk about being uh, post food or getting on your keto diet yeah. or uh, like Munchie learning how to cook, and I think that's pretty admirable. But mm-hmm. um, I think I, I have uh, one. One one route you guys have overlooked pretty heavily, and that's going pre-food. All right, so mm. let, let me give you the lowdown. So every morning I wake up, I get out of bed. I don't need to cook. I don't need to, uh, like, whatever the fuck you do to prepare some Huel. <laughs> but I just walk outside. I go down in the corner, and I find this pregnant homeless lady. <laughs> and I give her $5. <laughs> and she just lets me breastfeed until I'm full. And I do this for breakfast, lunch, and yeah. dinner every day. And I was wondering what your opinions were on this uh, new <laughs> revolution in the dietary world. I think it's really I think it's really great that you're contributing to the economy. I appreciate that. <laughs> breast uh, milk, you know, human you know breast what? milk I, is I the really most nutritious food, food people can have, apparently. Yeah, that can't there. be true. That, that can't be true. It's, <laughs> it's a fact, Have man. you tried it? Get out there. For for babies, maybe. Well, babies have different needs. I wonder if... Y- y- is human breast milk keto? Baby, man. It can't be. There's All no way. Is when There's babies no way. consume breast milk, and they go from, like, baby size to full human size like that. So if I start drinking breast milk, mm. I'm going to, like, yeah, double or triple in size huge. in no time. Maybe. This... Uh, you're oh. you're going you're to be, like... You're gonna be like that guy in Doctor McNinja who develops his abs so oh much God. that they turn into an organic jetpack. Yeah, that's Dr. right. McNinja. And, <laughs> that's that the kind of development you're gonna Everyone's see. fucking mm, yeah. wondering in in the ruins of of the ancient city of Cairo. They're all wondering, oh, why did they make statues of people that were not to scale? Why did they make statues of people when standing upright <laughs> would have been you know eight meters tall? And they're all thinking aliens, you know, ch- ch- chakra blitzed. But no, they just drank breast milk well. Well, after oh, they were necessary too, and they just fucking <laughs> tripled in size. No extra chromosomes required. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's a here's here's another one from Melon Pan. Mel- Melon Pan. Melon Pan. Oh yeah, I know this guy. I know this this, this guy, is this, this name. Right, let's get in there. What do you got, buddy? Ooh yeah. Nate Obola. You're going to end up working yourself into a spiral of frustration and wasted time if you try to spring back into a weekly show. Mm. It'll take up so much of your time if you try to put in as many new features and as much attention as you say you want to. But I've come with a solution. After consulting with the higher spirits and smoking a bunch of weed, I (laughs) present to you, We Agabor, Why I'm a Genius by Weekly, the official sequel to We Agabor. Think about (laughs) it. It's perfect. You get a much juicier show every two weeks. With less fluff, you can add as many new features as you want in segments without it feeling overwhelming, and you're left with more time to work on bigger projects or uh, those smash reveal things, mm-hmm. or even just to spend time with your girlfriend. I don't, I don't know how do this that. affects yeah, your YouTube yeah. revenue, but it seems like you make more on Patreon. Plus, think of all the hilarious buy jokes. Think about it. <laughs> we Agabwa. We Agabwa. Uh, okay. Not, I mean... I mean, that's just kicking the the can down the road. Yeah, right? we all know the real fix here. The real fix is to strip things back and put less effort into them. There has been I mean, absolute how, feature creep in Weagua. How long? How long has it been? Is it? How long is it between Weagua? Okay, now? Right. I, I made a bunch of big videos, years? but it's been probably years? it's been like three months or something since the last one. So that's bad. Oh, that's boy. not weekly at all. I mean, I'm not one to, I'm not one to, I'm not one to judge or anything. You know, I'm very behind on all my shit. This too. is, this is However, in fact my my current biggest issue that I'm I'm working to fix, and I'm working on it real hard, mm-hmm. people. So, 
Uh, I, I feel this guy, I I, I think I talked about, hadn't I talked about it on the show, how I kind of think I might end up doing one one we week on, one week off. We had a big discussion I think you did. at some point. Yeah, I think so. I, I had to play that mm-hmm. one. I was thinking of skipping it, but the production value was so high, I had to include it. He put a bunch mm-hmm. of music on and smoked some weed. He's he's oh, he's yeah. one to talk about feature creep. That was some voicemail feature creep for sure. That's true. That, that That's was true. Uh, th- that that the song in the background was "Dark Fragrance of Coffee" from Phoenix Wright Three. Right. I knew I'd heard it before. Yeah. Okay. Well, great, excellent. Uh, can't wait to get copyright claimed for that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's go to our last mail of the day. This is from One Spar. Bring hey. it, bring it up. What do you got? Hey PCP, one spar here. Sorry about my voice. I think I caught something at the Glory Hole convention this week. <laughs> and that's the thing. I have this weird obsession with consuming cocks. I just love it so goddamn much. But conversely, I don't really care much for putting things in butts. So I feel like I'm not gay enough to classify myself as a homosexual. Uh-huh. So PCP, do you guys have any advice on how I can seem gayer than I already am? And huh, I know how difficult that would be, considering how much my homoerotic desires contribute to my personality. Yeah. But any and all advice will right. Thanks again, PCP. Wait, wait, wait. Luckily, we right. solved this cons. issue. Wait, 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 there he goes. Stop. Hang on. Was was one spar always like Chinese or something? I, was he Chinese there? I don't know. Did he? Did he not sound like? He sounded yeah, like he, 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 he sounded like a gay something? econ. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I almost said, "Is that Econ?" Like I thought it was Maybe Econ, econ <laughs> attempting to make a, uh, 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 but no, make him gay. E- 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 econ, Econ doesn't have like his his accent is very subtle and it's not exactly econ, Chinese. Econ kind sound. of just talks he, he like this. Like he's like, like weird... "Wow, what the he's, fuck, yeah, he guys?" He sounds like he sounds like he's co- continually chomping a cigar and like he sounds like yeah. and like wearing a. He's like he sounds like Groucho Marx a little bit. Although, he doesn't. His accent does not really sound Chinese, but when he speaks Chinese, it's like suddenly his his voice makes way more econ, sense. I've been told I'm it decent just, in impressions. Here's here's my econ. Let, let me do it. It's like um, yeah. really you 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 really haven't read the the, the great <laughs> literature of the of the twentieth century? Really? Wow. Mm. I, I'm just saying. I, I mean, I've read them all. I, I know everything. I, I'm a bit of an expert on the subject. Let me just let me just comment here. Let me just make some corrections to your point here. I don't think those are very good. I, I think I think I did make some corrections here. That's just not. It's just not making sense to me. How was that? Pretty good, right? Uh, uh, the inflection a little, a and, 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 too and con mm-hmm. content. Wispy. Spot on. Thank you. A little too, a little too wispy. Yeah. Okay. I'll he's work a on little, it. He's a little more, a little more like harsh and nasally. A little, <laughs> a little less, a little less. Huh? Okay. All right. I'll work. Although on he does it. do that, he does slip into that uh, sometimes. The the the, okay, uh, okay. the really though, uh, that that's classic econ is saying really classic. Really? Yeah, it is. Really? It is. Yeah. Oh, dude. And making that face. Uh, okay. Making that face. <laughs> As he contorts right, yeah. his jowl. All right. Shit. Uh, something really oh, funny about Econ. E- Econ is my hero, by the Why is way. That? And I love Why is that? He was literally, uh, ca- nah, I don't want to, he saved my life. He literally saved my uh, life. Okay. Uh, something okay. really funny happened with Econ, and it was hilarious. Uh, I was out of the house. And, and and I just you know I I don't know what I was probably catching Pokemon or something anyway I was out and I and I and I realized that I have had three missed calls from Econ okay. uh, in the span of like three minutes and he says pick up <laughs> uh, so it's it's obviously something scary is happening right now yeah so yeah I, so I uh, he calls me again and, and I'm like you know like like what's going on like hey what's up mm. uh, and he says like when are you free I need to talk to you intermits like two more phone call attempts uh, okay. I'm like well I'm, I'm out of the house but but I'll be back soon. Uh, and so I like like I don't know if I like I didn't think it was like an emergency, but I thought it was something you know like like he's saying like like pick up like where like, are like you? something's happening yeah. like something's happening yeah, right yeah, yeah. now. And, and, like and, and, I showed and, you my dick. Answer me. I yeah, got yeah. It. Okay. And, mm-hmm. and he's like sen- frantically sending phone calls, and and, and I and, and I and I'm like okay, I'm I'm home. Like 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 what do you want? Like I'm I'm down to call. Uh, and uh, and he's like, all right, one second. And then he calls and he's like, cooking dinner. And he's like, uh, so yeah, hey, Munchie. Um, uh, oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, uh, ben told me you wanted uh, adv- you wanted to be consulted about going to college. You needed like a college consultant. Uh, okay. You needed some advice from me. Uh, ben told me that, and I was like, oh, I don't mean, okay. I don't, I don't know if I was exactly yeah. what I said, but sure, I, sure. Uh, this is okay, a game of telephone yeah, having yeah. a little bit. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Econ has a has a good heart. <laughs> yeah. His heart's oh, he in the does. right place. Yeah. Yeah. But his his yeah. his calibration of urgency is uh, you know <laughs> calibration or at least the perceived of urgency. urgency of yeah. the situation. No, no, it was it was a good conversation. It, it was yeah. nice to talk to him. Yeah. I just thought it was but funny. But it's just the fact that, that he, the he was in the middle of cooking ducks. Yeah. 
I actually appreciate that about him, that he will just, like, call people, mm, like, good. to talk to them. Like, I don't do that enough, uh, you I know? Yeah, I respect that. Uh, I respect I, that. Yeah. It's, it's not that hard. Well, yeah, I know, but I don't do it. Okay. It's easier to <laughs> so, text, and, so, and, yeah. and, I, and, that, and that's a And that's a fault. That's a fault in my stars by John Green. Oh, I love Crash um, Course World History. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, to, 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 the, to the answer our, our hero one spars question, to answer the GQ once and for all, uh, which I think we've already dealt with in this in this episode. I don't, I don't even remember what the question it was. It was, how can he be gay? How can he, like, he doesn't want to act gay, but he wants to be perceived as more gay. Uh, I think the one thing you need to do to up your game is head on over to patreon.com slash the procrastinators. <laughs> You're going to want to up yeah, that pledge dude. to it like $10, $15, maybe $20. Uh, you, no you one's going to mistake you for to, not uh, gay. Endangered no species. Hey, listen. Yeah. Hey, listen. I, was, I would say wear a procrastinator shirt. <laughs> oh, that's a good I idea. I have two questions. Do we do we even sell shirts? And two, do we sell them on Teespring? Because if we sell them anywhere other than Teespring, we need to I'm stop. I'm pretty sure it's all in Redbubble right now. Okay, we need to take down the red bubble, in, or at least the shirts, okay. and fucking start a Teespring because they are so much cheaper. You were talking about this, okay? We so should, much. Let's cheaper. look into this. Let's look into this. Um, yeah. Okay. Maybe by the time this episode goes up, you'll be able to go to our new Teespring linked in the description. Okay, we'll see. If not, I guess you could buy them on Redbubble and look really gay in front of all <laughs> yeah, your friends. Yeah, for, for, for just but... throwing your money out the window like that, guy. You gotta, <laughs> I mean, you but, really... but I would recommend waiting. I would recommend waiting until just Teespring Just go, go to the I Am Games spreadshirt, buy the I Am Games <laughs> shirt, and just pluck out the MES, and it just yeah. says, I Am Gay, and you're golden. <laughs> Dude, you know, I made, you know, I made, you know, because... Uh, you know, I, I made all the RFCK shirts right. and stuff, and like I, you know, I realized that Teespring was just such a better service. I went and I made a couple of uh, Ben Saint specific shirts. I haven't advertised them at okay. all. I have. I don't. I think this might be the first time I've even mentioned it to literally mm. anyone that I made them. Uh, but I did put a little link to like mer- merchandise on my on my Twitch, and it's it's, it's the profit margins. Nate, oh, I, I Tom, care. I care about the, profit, the profit margins. The profit margins are so much bigger on Teespring. They're like double at least. And we least. should be doing it. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. Selling them through any other. Although I, I do wonder about like the price. The like, does the item uh, to the consumer? I know. I know the interesting thing. Well, well, well. Here, well, here's the thing. You can set it yourself, and therefore you can have. Mm. You can. You mm. can literally. You can make way. You can make way more money for the same cost of the consumer. You can make okay. You can make the same amount of money and cost the consumer way less. That's good too. Or you can or you can, you can split the difference and make more money for less to the consumer. Well, we should uh, do this in hey, I know. By the, the, way, lower, the higher ben, profit margin is just an across the board benefit to everyone. Then I got something for you to fix. Uh, it's heinous. Mm-hmm. I go to saintcomics.com. There's no link to your Twitch here. Oh my God, you're right. Um, another call. another good there's thing no about link. there's about, no link to my fucking Twitch about uh, Teespring is merch. that there is yeah. YouTube integration. You can integrate your Teespring to a YouTube channel and have it show up under videos for merch. Oh shit, that's right. We could have that on the PCP below every episode. Correct. Um, that's really good. Dude, we should do that that's, immediately. <laughs> that's what we need. We need to go fucking corporate. Hell yeah, we do. We need to go even. Hell we need to go yeah. even more corporate. <laughs> this is not. This isn't enough. This is not. <laughs> I can't. I can't fucking get I, off to this. I, I'm, shit. I'm looking at Ben's. To this indie, this shirts DIY right shit. Are they good? Are you, they you, lit? You're you're a real big fan of having like the little logo be a, like an emblem up on the on the top left. You're a real big fan of that. Like, an, well, why not? It's it is cool. cool. I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna. Like I'm literally little, gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna get the the big one. I'm gonna do this. Wait, yeah. really? Uh, the, which one? The uh, the one that just says Patreon.com. No, that one is good though. In fancy script. I mean, that one's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would get such a kick if anyone bought that one. Dude, hopefully. Um, yeah, send a picture to like, Ben on Twitter. You know, I actually I I actually think I might. Huh? I said someone do that. Take a picture of yourself. Yeah. Send it to Ben on Twitter so I can see it too. I I kind of do want to get one with the heart logo because like why yeah, not? Well, I've got I, a I'm, bunch I'm of best I'm buying this shirts. right now. I'm buying this right now. Right now. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Fucking. Uh. Link, link oh, the dude, I'm going to get in, in a, a 4XT. I don't even know what XT means. Nate, Nate, what? I'm going to fucking call you out right okay. now. Because oh, yeah. you told me. I'm you so told mad me at that you wanted. Yeah. You told me that you wanted a Slime Corp mug 
Slime Corp mugs exist and are available and have been for yes. weeks. And you have you do have okay. not purchased well, them. Okay. Uh, well, so I'm just saying, Nate. I'm saying you're not obligated to do anything. However, you misled. You misled our marketing not team. Not true. We invest. We invested. You. We invested huge sums of investors' money right. in Listen, that in that scheme, I still, and it didn't pay I off. I still do want one. If I if I could snap my okay. fingers and get one, that'd be great. I might even go purchase you can. one you immediately. You can. But but yeah. And it's true. When I said that. I was burning with a passion. That was at my peak level of playing Endless War when I was talking about that. I've been playing less recently, right. so it's not exactly top fucking priority to rush over and get myself a mug, even though objectively it would be sick. That's where <laughs> it, it would be that's sick. where it's at. So I told no lies, sir. No lies. All right. Yeah, well, I'm just we saying. Hate okay. you, anyway. you know, I went we to hate a, you I'll, anyway. I spec I big based on you saying that, I went and like searched around websites, found the ideal one, which incidentally was Spreadshirt, because Spreadshirt lets you make mug a every other service, if you want a mug to be not yeah. white, you can't do it. All you can do is have a white so, mug with like okay. a big ugly like colored rectangle around it. But Spreadshirt lets you print a design on a base black or red mug in addition okay. to Okay, so you're white. telling me to get the black so, Slime Corp mug, I can go to Teespring and yeah. get it. No, 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 that's on Spreadshirt. Oh, that's on Spreadshirt, okay, gotcha. There is there's a link on the Twitch, on the Twitch Rowdy, Rowdy Frickers Twitch, there's like a separate link to Teespring, there's Spreadshirt, and Okay, Red see, Bowl. I didn't know these and facts, the, like which one to go to. Now that I know what to do, yeah. that that is making it easier. It eases my path. What if yeah. I don't, like do research and shit? But okay. And the and the mug the mugs the different 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 products are like different like most of them were the best deal on Teespring, but not all okay. of them. So the ones that were better on other sites are on the Spreadshirt and the and the Red Then Bowl. do you know if the Teespring shirts are snug or not? Do you know do you know if they're if they're small or not? Um well I don't own one myself, but um Guys, I mean, guys, 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 this has to stop. This has to stop. No, this no, is... I'm, I'm uh, sorry. Listen, just... <laughs> go to teespring.com slash St. Tart and, and get your shirt like I'm doing right yeah, now. Sure. Is there is there a dash between yes, Saint there and there is. Oh my god, wait, wait, hold on. This is actually funny and not elongating the yeah, podcast okay. for no reason. This is actually funny. Uh, remember uh, at RFCK Con when we went to every place that was selling the vapors and I made a big to do about demanding the people to order more oh, copies of the vapor and yep. I made the, I oh made them write god. down my phone number yeah. and make them make a special order for the vapors and to alert me when it was in a Harvard Square comic book store near them again. You remember that? Yeah. I do, yeah, yeah. Like, like we all, like, okay, we all walked in to these comic stores, and um, I, like, I would just be over in the corner, just sort of, just like waiting. Like, everyone would, they, like, like everyone wanted, everyone like bought out my stock because, like, these things were, these places were carrying like two or three copies of piece. They would buy out my stock, and then Munchie would go and ask for another one, and they'd tell them we don't have any more. I think we're out of that, and he'd be like, "Oh man, I'm such a big fan. I would love to buy. I would buy like a whole bunch of copies." <laughs> Like you should like when when you when are you gonna have more? Because like I know a, a ton of people who would want to buy more of yeah. these. And and, um, and, and, and and the second one we went to two, and the second one I was I was like please like 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 I I want more. Please order more. Like I'm gonna write down my phone number for you. Like like please <laughs> like do a special order because I will buy like five of them. And uh, he did. So, so I'm on the system now. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was the second one where after we left, you could hear them say, like, who's, like, been saying, like, what is this book? Lol. Damn. <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, was that the million, million year I'm pretty sure. Or, I'm pretty sure. Um, the second one. That was, like, in a the one, the, the one that was in, like, the yeah, basement? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's million year picnic. Yeah. Um, funny. Because I was literally in... First of all, I had met and talked to that guy before when I was giving him the books. I was literally in there, like, feet away from him as you're having this <laughs> <laughs> about me i'm just like uh cool. you don't want to let him know that um, this is the man that this yeah. is the man who uh oh they're purchasing God. Things you know from. i was I, I was about to say i don't think i've gotten any phone calls but shit would I have even noticed if I did? Oh no! <laughs> oh my How God! Ben, my I... special order. I wrote down my phone number for that, and you're not going to return their phone calls. Well, I don't. Oh God! I got. I gotta go. I gotta go comb through my phone records and see if maybe I did get a call. Okay, <laughs> I'm well, curious. Go now. do that, friend. Go do that. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, right, okay, let's we'll get the fuck. We end the fucking episode now. I was insist. That, was that the, that last, was the last one? one. Yeah. That was the last one. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So uh, everybody, at, in case you didn't catch it, Patreon.com/slash The Procrastinators is the place to go. Five dollar pledges for the bonus episodes. We got a new bonus episode out right now. Baron Munchausen bullshit. We're doing yeah. some kooky, 
role play erotic furry shit you're gonna want to get in it, there it's actually the best bonus episode incredible it's lovely it's delicious i ben produced some, some dope enjoy. ass animation type shit for it there's there's cool things oh, happening the bonus the bonus episode um i mean man i want to say i want to talk about what's in there without spoiling it yeah but like uh it has like battle music and battle animations <laughs> yeah it does it does um, so that's pretty cool Took me, like, you know, several days to get it all made. Uh, although, having finished it, I believe that I can think of a few ways to make it faster to do... I, like, there, uh-huh. there, I, I, I thought of more efficient ways to do it, like, after it was done. I was like, you know, I could have saved time by doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah, all right. All um, right, well, cool. Next so time... Maybe if yeah. I do... I might... I, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I feel like I learned a thing or two about video editing while doing good. it. Well, good. And it looks fucking cool. Go see it, people. And, you heard, yeah. You've heard you heard the hype. Now go pay for it. $5 on Patreon. Right. You get that. And 19 other episodes. That's 20 bonus episodes total now. Jesus Christ, what a deal. Uh, uh, it is. Twitter. Twitter. At TP Crastinators. Follow us for updates and shit. It's useful. It's good. Recommend it. And speak pipe. Click the link below. Give us your voicemails, fuck you, end a conversation. That's it. All right. Mm-hmm. The, the, the end. end of the episode. We'll see you next week, people. Go listen to the bonus episodes. Fill up your life Woo! with meaningless dribble. Brett to you by our mouth holes. Thank you for joining. We'll mm. see you next time. Bye. Die. Bye. It was rough. It was rough interacting with the three of you for that long.